There we go. Oh, come on. Inky, pull him up. Oh, for the love, Vasey face closed itself. <laughs> Anyways, then. Uh, ahoy, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your cap well, your invisible Captain Hill in, apparently. Okay, I'm pretty sure I did not tell this to close, but it did all the same. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'll be your Captain Hill in today, along with... This is Mighty Tinnitrick here at your service, and I'm having flashback from uh, a scene from Tiberian Sun. Oh. Cain lives! <laughs> Just replace Cain's sudden appearance on a screen with you instead. Yeah. And, well, <laughs> welcome to Modded Minecraft with the Hippity Hoppity Pack made by, well, Tatum and friends. And, uh, yeah. For a bit of you know, clarification, first off, uh, let me just pause this so we don't get snuck up on by anything, unlikely as it is. Uh, since the last time we streamed this, it has been downsized quite a bit so it could actually f well, fully function on the, the server and not have it run with like two minutes of lag. So the m amount of mods has been cut down quite a bit. Uh, ta -ta -ta. I don't remember how many it was before, but I think it is around 150 or something now. I think it was like 200 plus before. Um, <clears throat> more. Potentially. And yeah, as is probably clear, I made a few worlds beforehand, starting with this. Uh, to just get a good spawn and not just be stuck in the middle of a wasteland somewhere. So yeah, we have, over here we have two Wilden Dens, which is going to be a big thing for Ars Nouveau. We have, of course, a massive fuck-off Ars Nouveau forest, or an Archwood forest. And there's even two villages nearby. Also down here we have a villager camp. And for exploration we have plenty of waterways to uh, go explore with. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, to ex explain a bit for... <clears throat> to explain a bit... Uh, for the mod pack and such it is meant for a server for that's uh, i and some others will be uh, joining on hopefully it will finally be starting for real on wednesday uh, but the thing with it is is that there will be a bit of a gimmick as in that everyone will stick to a certain category of mods which in my case is going to be magic mods so yeah, in this stream and any potential future ones with this, I will be mostly focusing on the magic stuff. <clears throat> it's not that we can't use the others, but it's more that we uh, should ask for help with those from the people who are who actually are in that category and such. So if I want some create stuff, I'll have to ask the, well, create players for help with that. Okay. Yeah. We might... I say again, might use the single player one we are on right now for yeah, Sunday streams. Or side stuff at the very least. Yeah. So uh, this one, I guess you can give yourself a little lean way. Yeah. Also, two mods that aren't as obvious at the moment is, well, first off, I have the uh, slow falling. So that is the Origins mod. Plus, there is another one that... Uh, you get to choose a uh, job at the start when you spawn in. Also, I still don't f fully know why, but every time you load in, the first time that you open any sort of inventory, it takes a while to load. I'm not sure what might be causing that. And I thought they'd have mostly worked that out, but apparently not. Hmm. Wait. Okay. You mean Just freezing up from... Oh. There we go. Oh, there you go. Yeah. It's only for the first time each time. But yeah, with the job that I've chosen, it is, uh, is it actually functional or not? So sometimes it just doesn't seem to start up. It, what it's supposed to do is allow me to take uh, the, the, the lumberjack profession, which is supposed to let me get six planks out of a log, as well as, uh, let me make a crafting table first. When I, <clears throat> When I use an axe on a tree, it should cut down the entire thing. Though maybe it glitched at the start. So that happens sometimes. That it just uh, doesn't load the origin mod. Yeah, it, it hasn't loaded in apparently. Yep, Wooly Sprig. Okay. 
Uh, let's try a quick restart to see if that will reset that. It is a sm it's mo hmm. not really a small thing, but still a minor thing. There's also a minor class that's going to take to dig quicker. But I think for the most part, it's more of a early game thing. Like there's a, <clears throat> a rancher class that uh, whenever you breed animals gives a chance for twins to be born and for more you know, for more materials to be harvested from animals. Not sure if it's just uh, the normal animal mobs or if also enemy mobs count. But yeah, it's it wouldn't it's not like it would be double the rewards or such. So yeah, nice stuff for early on, but I don't think too much uh, use would for would be found for it when you get more into the mid and late game of well <laughs> Minecraft and the mods itself. Yeah, especially when you have better tools to, well, cut down a tree, dig through yeah. dirt and all that. We have specific spells for that. And yes, Ink is around, but it's more that she's just sleeping on my bed behind me. <laughs> just curled up against a pile of clothes. <laughs> Cute. You asked me, I, I had a random video recommended to me this morning. Oh. It was just adorable. Uh... Netherland Dwarf, it said in the title of what, wait, what the heck do they mean, they mean Netherland Dwarf, and then I saw the picture and saw, oh, they mean Netherland Dwarf bunnies. <laughs> this was bloody adorable, the fluff balls. Uh, let's see, as far as I know, my family has never really had bunnies, like I've had further family that has had rabbits, but not bunnies or dwarf bunnies. Hmm. Okay, it's going to function this time. Well, dwarf and... bunnies are rather small. Though, I think it's rare for people to have the... Um, well, sort of like the Welsh <laughs> bunny. Yeah, the massive fuck-off rabbits. Yeah, and I think there is another Netherlands variant of that one as well. Okay, open the inventory to get this done with. I'll likely start any future streams with this already loaded in and with the inventory opened because, well, just watching at a, <laughs> what's basically a screenshot is not going to be too amusing for either of us. Yeah. First of all, I actually thought hmm. you used uh, the standing steel. Okay. Looking outside, it looks like the geese, uh, the, <laughs> the kids have finally flown the nest because I'm only seeing two. And they've had uh, six chicks before, and okay, that's apparently not working still, or does it only work with stone axes and above or something? I oh, well, minor surprised. thing. I mostly went with lumberjack to make it easier to cut down well all of those rainbow <laughs> trees and such, and everything connected to them. Oh well. <clears throat> Let's collect some woods, get some stone. And then we'll head over to one of the two villages nearby. Uh, let's see. So a hole in the ground. Mm -hmm. Oh, that. That's from Untamed Wilds. Uh, a burrow. A burrow. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know too much about the Untamed Wilds mods. That is also a, one of the reasons why I want to do these off-stream... No, off-server off streams. To get a bit of a fee, better feel for... Uh, for the other mods and such, so that I can actually know what they are up to and such, or what they do. It's probably why it's good for me to, to be the one playing Valheim the most. Yeah. Okay. And I, <laughs> has it, I, I'm closing in on 1,000 hours on that game. <laughs> and it's early access. Yep, still not technically 1.0 release. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I know I, if I'm going to count in on the PlayStation hour of Ark, I'll probably be almost on maybe 2,000 hour or something, but... I feel like I have had my fun with Ark. But after spending so many hours and so many hours with uh, Valheim... It, yeah, I would say this. Valheim... It is, it is still early access. It's way more accessible to play with friends and more optimized. Yeah. I'm taking that, mostly because of these. The engineer's goggles from Create. Okay. 
Uh, might as well put on these armors. Uh, that's better than that. That's better than that. Okay, now what have we here? Some books. Okay, I'm just going to mostly loot this place. Maybe I can actually use this as a sort of uh, outpost since, well, as you can see, it's already pretty well stocked with stuff. I'll yeah. Take that. Oh, so now you're doing something about all that. But also, finding friends pretty awkward. It has been smoother. I mean, at least with Valheim, but when we came to Ark, many times it was, oh, I have it, but it will take forever to re download, or it's too expensive. Yeah. Okay. And for many, and this is still probably today, we did the Ascender version. That computers, even strong computers, struggle with that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, That's I feel like I had really this discussion. The name. Is, is it because what I said earlier? A hole in the ground. Oh, God. Okay. Oop, turtle eggs. Yeah, let's see. I'm just going oh, yeah. to grab everything and put it together in one or two barrels at the moment. Probably a good idea. But yeah, I have said long ago, um, some maybe one year ago or something, but I had my things between Ark and Valheim. But yeah. Yeah. Valheim made feels like I can do progress. Ark? I could barely do the dungeons alone. And it was most jumping puzzles, but I don't bugged even there. So I see the team build, team build, team build. And I think what happened when we played together. Me and uh, Hillian when we played the Ark together. That we planned to do, try to do some bosses, but never got around to... <sighs> you need to mass breed animals so many times over, find and tame the perfect animal, breed the perfect animal to do, like... Uh... In Valheim, I can do the dungeons, I can do the bosses. Is it hard? Yep. Yes, but it's durable. It's not jumping puzzle. Yes. Uh, you're so much better. I feel like there. Mm. It doesn't seem like I need to be a good grappling hooker or excellent jumping puzzler or anything like that. Just block, parry, move away, smash. Simple as that. There's of course a bit more to it than just that, but. Yeah, it is mostly just skill based and not just uh, platforming. Yeah, it, platforming is a skill on its own. But there has been many times I looked at Ark as a dungeons and I just felt like, what kind of bullshit is this? Okay. Just need to dig up most, of, not, not dig up, chop down most of the tree. It is annoying that the, uh, the wood cutting sheet doesn't seem to be working. Did it work sure earlier, that or... might be. Uh, I, I only rendered in the worlds, and uh, f I forget if it showed it at the start. It showed it at the start of some of the worlds that I made, or most of them. So maybe it just didn't work with this one for some reason. Also, what do we have here? Some sort of train? Okay, and the boar sheep so if we can find some iron to make uh, some set of a set of shears we'll get some wood out of that get ourselves a well a bed golden apple there let's see there's a bunch of stuff here okay let's put most of it away keep the most important things for the moment what is uh, this thing Actually, definitely keeping that. Do you have somewhere to look where your level is in your skills are? Uh, not sure. We have the achievements or advancements there. Let me take a look. Control, keybinds. Uh, let's see. Gameplay, inventory, creative, multiplayer, miscellaneous. And then we get each of the mods specifically. Uh, callable horses, okay. Carry on, create, easy villagers, iron spells, just enough items. Jade, not sure what that is, just zoom. Mechanism, 
Mr. Craze, Cultism, Origins. Activate Power Primary, but I'm pretty sure we can view Origin. Uh, really? <laughs> Use Toilet. And Paladin's that's the doorbell. Door. Okay, refined storage. Small ships. Give me a sec while I go check on who is at the door there. Never All right. Mind. Someone already got there. Okay, I thought some. <laughs> I thought. <clears throat> I thought no one else was going for there. Uh, Steam and rail, supplementaries, voice chats, mini map. Okay. Hmm. As shader packs, not the. Yeah. Also, free piston. Okay, I'll definitely come back here to get all of this stuff together. Okay, I think this is create stuff. Yeah, of some very kind. Right. Yeah, coal, always useful, especially since it's already starting to get a bit dark. Bunch of apples. I'll need those because since I have the avian origin, it, oh, it's, it's a full on train yard from the looks of it. Uh,. Yes. One of the drawbacks of the avian origin is that you cannot eat meat. So you will only be able to, well, eat anything that, well, isn't, like apples and such. Give me this that. is weird. But also, it's kind of not true. True, but it, but is, a, it is something to balance things. Yeah, but I mean, well, like, there is an exception to the avian uh, uh, diet. I'm uh, pretty they, sure there are plenty oh, of birds that eat meat. Oh yeah, I mean more like you can eat the unlimited ham. True, though I don't know if that one's in the game. We're in the mod pack. Let's see. I want to grab some saplings from each of these trees so I can just grow them where we'll set up our base. Eventually. Yeah, and I've been pondering for uh, just to give uh, Captain here some uh, ideas for it, like trying to look up what the Dutch for Hill Drake will be, or Drake Hill. Yeah, hopeful Drak. Yeah, or Drak, uh, was it Hill again? Mm -hmm. uh, Hovel? Yep. Drak Hovel? <laughs> I'm sure if I'm saying that right. Yeah, that would be like Drake Hill. Yeah, it would be this more like a location well. name. Yeah, this it could be work then, since again, it, uh, okay, okay. Will you count a tower as a location? Yeah. All right, then uh, it will count. Could be work. However, because of that, I ended up uh, oh. finding a bit of a rabbit hole. Uh, <laughs> Okay, I hadn't realized that the boots I grabbed had have step heights, which means that I don't need to jump over or jump to get up one block uh, heights. Ooh, nice! Oh well, yeah, I, I did end up falling into a rabbit hole for it's a small pocketbook I have. I even asked him for confirmation for apparently my pocketbook claimed kill in Dutch was nest, which apparently was false. Yeah, nest is nest in Dutch. It's the yeah. same words, just said differently. Or actually, practically the same. Yeah, so I don't know why it said hill is nest. Just weird. Hmm. But I guess uh, if it's a small sheep pocket book. Yeah, so there's obviously going to be flaws. That's yeah. That's what I want. But of course, I saw... It says it's a small pocket book, it means it's less worse in it. And of course, on the same page, the word for the um, milk organ was there in a, one of the Swedish words, and it translated to lull. Yep, L-U-L, though that's more of a, uh, uh, what would be the word? Slang? Not really slang, but more like a cruder word for it. Yeah. Because uh, in it... In Dutch, it, the more formal version is just written the same as the English. That's yeah, what I want. same here. For our term, the, for, it was translated the crude Swedish word of that organ to a, the, I guess, to the Dutch version of the crude uh, name for that organ as well. 
but yeah, but just seeing it just lull, just make me feel like LOL, but uh, yeah. I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, for I like, can see people misunderstand that. And, like if some Dutchman scream that at a non-Dutch person, they just wondered what are they shouting lol for? Why are they pronouncing it so wrong? Without realizing they actually call them something else. So yeah, people, if you hear someone, if you hear someone Dutch say, or you think you hear someone Dutch say LOL, they might just be calling you a dickhead. Yeah. But also open up some worries. I will not be surprised if some Dutch have done this. It is a bit of a sheep shot. They replaced okay. the O in League of Legends with a U. <laughs> Okay. I did say it was a, yeah, I did say it was a sheep shot. Yeah. But yeah, League of Legends does tend to be filled with a bunch of dickheads. Oh bloody heck, that. That might be true. I, I have some <laughs> respect for it uh, for the characters design and all that, and like they are expanding the lore and games all that. But I will never play in the League of Legends game. Maybe the spin-offs, maybe. Have you heard that they are good? I, I played it for a time, but yeah, you would have to give me a good reason to go back to it because, well, there's a lot of toxic people and such. I know that Pika yeah. and such play it every so often, so maybe I could be tempted to join them at some time. Yeah, uh, that's why I, I mentioned that the spin-offs looks more fun for them more adventure and not PP. Yeah. You actually play as the character adventuring in the world as a either as an adventure game or as a like a RPG like Ball and Skate and such. Let's so, see. yeah, in a way you could say, will we stream League of Legends? No, could we maybe stream the spin-offs? Maybe, maybe. they have story. Okay, I have been reminded of a few games that I definitely would be interested in streaming at some time. Uh, <clears throat> of course, there's still Mass Effect, and let's see. Uh, now I'm already drawing a blank again on something. Uh, all right, after <clears throat> uh, next week, we are to start with the Battle of Middle Earth as our main games or our mainstream games. And after that, I have I have to plan to return to the, to some older games that uh, we have streamed before, but not we don't have archived on YouTube and such. A correction: some of them you streamed and did not archive, and I was not part of it yet. Yeah. Okay. That's samplings of all not... four types. Before I started cool commentating, I he screen shared me some gameplay because Twitch was an ass and all that. So he but he was streaming his screen shared to me, but he could not hear me. So many things I could tell him he got to know once the stream was over. Oh, right, fuck, that's a terror bird. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. that, 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 good response. Good response. Uh, is it after you? I don't think so. Uh, oh, hello, drink me. Those are rare. I typically don't see these just wandering around. Wait, are you fine too? Yep. Okay, so maybe they have a higher spawn rate here. And there's another one of the fucking birds. And yeah, as is obvious, we have a few uh, animal mods installed as well. If I had some Wilden Horns, I'd be able to get the charms of those. And there's another one. But, oh, oh well. Dear. Maybe I can find them later. Yeah. For now... Oh, what was I say? Yeah, for now. Uh, but I was to say was also... Later he, later, he came to me, asked if I wanted to be moderator. I said no, I joked about co being co-host. And that joke became a reality. Yep. But many of the games we did... did and the first one, two months yeah, after I became Reaver. a co-host, or one of the Soul Reavers. Yeah, I think I think one Soul Reaver I just watched. Yep. And I joined in on the next Soul Reaver, basically. Yeah, that'd be Soul Reaver two, I think. We never played yeah. uh, the original 
<laughs> Legacy of Cain game, and I don't really have much interest in streaming that one, because it is one of your old, very slow RPGs. I'm not really sure if RPG really counts for it. Maybe action RPG something. Uh, yeah. But yeah. Oh, hello. Do you like it? Oh, hello. Blaze but rods yeah. and ender pearls and some. So I guess we've returned to to actually have it archived. And some games we returned to because he streamed them before I was a part of it at all. So. Yeah. Hello. Some emeralds, which I'll take. Uh, potion of healing, some paper, the and some purple. iron spell stuff. Okay, mostly I'm just hunting for a house to take over now. <laughs> I will build a tower sooner or later. And, okay, that looks to be a teleporter po point. I have no. a... He, he, I, think hmm. he, I think they, they have the... Uh, I gave you an idea. This probably might be easier to do at this point. Yeah, to build a sunken ship, or at least a sunken. I just said a, a part of a ship, like a half a yeah. ship or something on land. But wait, how, how do you sink a ship on land? With their with determination. Here was I expected you to say a quicksand. <laughs> oh, okay. then again, I want someone to play Orc Ascended. I'm not going to get play the game, but I still really enjoy people play it for they are still entertained to watch. Yeah, so it's and, more the people you're watching for than... Yeah. And yeah. He, he, and someone... Sh here's the context. They were playing the new Scorch Earth, uh, Earth map. Yeah. Uh, it was too, they were doing a 100-day series, but they're doing episodes instead, like each episode is 10 days. Okay, no, so not right like they're just a massive compilation through which they could cheat. Yeah, or no, they too, do take longer to, uh, to do. Or there's a case of someone makes a 100-day video and it's only 21 minutes. Or it's one day and it's one to three, four hours. I'd rather take it in smaller episodes. But here's the thing, since it's rare for me to see there being two players at this. His friend shouted he was drowning. For those who don't know, Scorch Earth is a desert map. Yeah. He drowned in the small oasis they built the base next to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a very shameful death. Yeah, it's kind of like, really? Really? Nope. We'll need you go and drown in a bloody food. desert? But in reality, that is actually something that can happen, and not with the oases and such. Because sometimes... Uh, <clears throat> sometimes in deserts, it can really fucking pour with rain and such. Uh, to the point that sometimes people will actually just drown from rain. From what I've yeah. heard. Bunch of seeds now I'll want... Or freeze to death. Yep. Because as hot as they are during the day, they can absolutely freeze during the night. Oh dear. And none of these buildings are really big enough to really start a good outpost out of. Yeah, so let's I, I just say, look for a bed. Yeah, yeah I say look for a bed and look for a. Nice place to build your starter base. I'll probably build it right outside of the... Uh, yeah, right outside of here. Oh, right, yeah. We need one other drawback of the avian species, or avian race, or whatever you want to call it, is that they need to sleep above a certain level in the world. Uh, okay, even yeah. more reasons to build your own home. Yep. Okay, I'm just going to steal this bed. It needs to be above 72, I believe. Uh, let me see. Oh, I, I could actually do it if I just put this on the roof here. Yeah, okay. okay. Is it from the dirt or just in general world, uh, world height? 
uh, general world height. So on the min below the minimap, you can see the 73 at the moment. Let's see. Still not high enough. So... If you find a big hill or a mountaintop... Or a tower... You should be fine. Yep. Let's see, is this high enough? No. Fresh that. air to sleep. <laughs> you, you, in the village and still a bed. Uh, how tall... What was the height? I thought it was 72, but it likely more in the 80s somewhere. Well, you do have a mountain edited. side next to, uh, behind you. And plenty of roof around here as well. Let me just get up this area. Okay. A bit annoyed that this place doesn't have a teleporter stone, or a waystone as it's also called. Or at least one do that I haven't found yet. Do you still have that mod in or not? It should be part of the pack, yes. Hmm. What's all of that above, then, if there's only... Or is it connected? Let's see. Uh, I probably should... Actually, I do have food. There. And there. Okay, so yeah. Bread is going to be our main food for a while. Oop. Okay, at least it didn't damage the building. Let's see, are we going to get enough height in here? Let's see, 87. Got monsters nearby. Okay, so that is high enough. Maybe we can just get far enough away from them or something. There. <laughs> we can use the furnaces as a bed warmer. You could even... Uh, it vibrating. What the hell was that? Yeah. And it's just something that just keeps happening for some reason. Not sure why. Okay, I'm you going to loot these. Shoot out birds? No, eggs. Avian egg, egg laying. Okay. Is it supposed to be a yolk? Maybe. Okay, that could have ended poorly. Yeah, holy. There. Oh, we have a little outpost here, or a little camp. Okay. These toolboxes, these can be really useful, since you can store a hell of a lot of stuff in just one of these. And it will just, in your inventory, it will just take up one spot. So let me remove that, put that in. Uh, let's see. Then we can just pick it up. And yeah, now we have all of that in our inventory. Okay. Nice. Hmm. All right. Maybe a good space to build the tower around here. There or... Wait, th there's a spot of arcane force there, a bit alone. Yep. Th that could have worked for... It, it would be easy to spot on the map. Yeah. Okay. I'll probably come back to pick this up, because these encased fans can be really useful. Probably even go raid that train wreck we found. Yeah, we need to go back to that once we have a backpack or such. So we can actually carry a good amount of stuff along. Yeah, uh, oh yeah, yeah, that... Here's the thing. Having your base recognized easy by the map... We probably help a lot to navigate back to it. Yeah. And maybe if we keep some distance from the village, it'll keep most of the villagers alive from zombie attacks and such. Though... <laughs> not a... Hopefully. Can't bring it on the... Yeah, can't give a guarantee on that. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's even a cave here. Okay. All right. Let me see then. It looks like these two are about in the middle. So... Yeah. Uh, wait, wait, look look at them. Uh, how many... Is there four trees in a... Uh, Captain? 
Yep. Treehouse. Correct. I was also, yeah. how do you ever want to sleep in a treehouse? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was just looking if I had the same wood type as this one still with me, but no. So we'll just have to build a bit of a staircase with the blazing ones. Okay, why did why did that do that? Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, we, we can make a boat, a broken boat, as a treehouse. And and I already joked that it, it has a context, but I think like it will be fitting. He he, he crashed with his airship and used part of it as a treehouse. There we go. It doesn't sound too unlikely to do. True. Yep. And by that, I mean using the uh, boat as a treehouse, not that a Helian will uh, crush a ship. <laughs> it's probably still in a way possible. Okay. And yeah, we have plenty of height for the bed here. Yeah, it would okay. look nice, and in a way, you it should be easy to spot from a... Uh, okay, I'm thinking about it, it may depend on the angle. Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. Uh, uh, I left behind that... Uh, 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 oh, there's also a tower there. <laughs> okay! Yeah, the tree house will be a. Oh, bloody heck. I was going to throw the apples for a moment. There. Uh... Oh, yeah. I guess it's up to Hillian if you want to build the tree house or just remodel the current existing tower. Yeah, that tower is going to be way too small, anyways, for what I have planned. Well, I did say remodel. <laughs> But yeah, probably better with this. There we go, finally a bit of storage. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think from this point, we use this as the floor level, and we just build out from that. And yeah, first thing I would say on the list would be to, well, go get some cows. Maybe lure them over with some wheat, or just kill them for the leather outright. Oh, for the leather, okay. I was pouring wheat, you cannot eat cow. Okay. Also, let's just immediately make a few more chests, just so we have plenty of storage. Because that's always going to be a nuisance. Yeah. Oh, I should probably warn people, I am possibly sick. But luckily, Miley's. I can stream, join on Steam, uh, Steam on stream and co commentate. Yeah. Still, if it ever gets too much, just say so. And that was indeed what? one just too many anyway. So well. I will uh, tell if it gets too much. I will. Okay. There. There. And one more. Okay. And I'm gonna throw some food into the machine. As at least still have my there, appetite. There, there, and there. <clears throat> yeah, if you lose your appetite whilst you're sick, that's typically a sign that something is not going right. Okay. That's something we should also grab. It's just some stone. Okay. Osmium or mechanism. I'll probably do a bit of that, but again, I'm mostly going to be focusing on the magic mods. Ooh, and the sites, useful for create. Gold, definitely need that. Okay, coal. Okay. Just make our way out of here. Okay. Let's see. Clear this place out a little bit. And I, I should get more than just a tiny bit of stone. Okay. Uh, 
At least enough for a furnace, at the very least. Hopefully two. Also for some stone tools, because these iron ones are going to run out sooner or later. Okay. Hmm. Okay, this just goes down back. into water. More gold. Welcome back. Okay. You'll need to make some torches in a bit. And actually... Hmm. I could make a spell book, uh, Ars Nouveau spell book, if we just make an iron sword and an iron axe. I probably... I should have paid more attention with the one we had earlier to not break it. But I will. There. Do that. Okay, anything of interest? No, it's a dead end already. Yeah, I don't know if it's... I don't know if this is with the, the more norm... With the normal generation nowadays with uh, Minecraft, or if that's from part of one of the mods. But there is a lot of flooded caves in this mod pack. All right. Okay. Good amount of stone. Another flooded part. Silver for occultism. Okay. Don't I know less about the occultism mods. But it should be useful all the same. There's some iron. Okay. Let's get up. Definitely should make some stairs the later, so yeah, you know, easy to navigate. Yeah. Because I'll probably put away these boots sooner or later and lose the step height, which is just really freaking useful. Okay. Uh, also, something I should do is... Wait, did I leave the buck? Yes, I left the bucket of milk behind somewhere. Okay. Um, okay. You mispronounced it there, or if I misheard you there? Bucket of milk. It sounded like you said bucket of milk. <laughs> Okay. And both sounds possible, or that you could misspoken there or not. Okay, clear all of those out. Over there. Okay, we need some water. And we don't actually need shears because we already have a bed here, so that's less important. Put that there for the moment. Uh, let's see, okay. Buckets. Then we can get work. Yeah, then we can get started on a farm downstairs. Maybe move that up into the air once we have enough dirt. Wait, what? Yes. <clears throat> uh, well, I guess they will keep the cow safe. So, are there really much things to attack the cattle? Uh, I meant more just the. The, yeah, the wheat farm and such, so we can uh, okay. get through it without being harassed uh, by zombies and such. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Speaking of, I can hear a drown somewhere. Okay. Get rid of this. And I can probably just make the farm right downstairs here. Okay. I do have a bit of an outline for a plan for a tower, a very wide one, so that we can put all of our stuff inside. Even the uh, Drigme farm, uh, Worldly Sprig farm and such. But we'll have to we'll have to see in which order we put those. For now, let's just clear a flat area. Yeah, you should good have a, the uh, have a small beginner base before you make a big base yeah all we need really need now at the moment is a source of food woods and a place to dig around for ma materials so let's see one two three four five there biggie Gotta make sure that uh, I don't Swine? break these. In Dutch? Swain? Yep. Ooh. The monsters are coming out to play. 
has almost the same word in Swedish, svin. There, get rid of you. I didn't kill them, or the kill didn't count on me. But... Okay, what was From that behind. Buzz? Oh, yeah, it was my phone. <laughs> Apparently, I've got my timer for uh, this for these streams set wrong or something. And I was okay before the mo before the skeleton showed up. I was actually going to ask where the music go, and then it just pops up. There you uh, go. Uh, I was just ask. May not the, may the or the animals drop leather as well? Could be, yeah. But I'd. I should make a stone sword before I go after anything. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, I'm only sure is a, if that's a bright idea to attack a boar with a shovel. You. There we go. I'll finish digging out this area here. One, two, three, four. And yep, yep, yep. Really? There. Okay, we'll have to we'll have to cover a bit of this, but we already have an entrance over there. Okay. Yeah, better that we set up foods first, because well. We're going to need healing sooner or later. Two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Okay. I'll make an axe in a bit to dig out or cut down a bit more of that, but for now. <coughs> I'm just going to go for the basic 9x9 nine nine with these. 1, 2, 3, 4. I can make some pathways around later. As long as nothing is going to be dancing on top of this, it should be safe. Oh yeah, then you definitely want to make it a wall around it. There. This. There. Okay. And uh, now we just plant our seeds. And there we go. Food production is up and running. Okay. Now. Uh, stone. There. Okay. One, two. Okay. Uh, I believe these twigs can be used. Yeah, you can just just turn them into sticks. Okay. There. And there. Should probably also make just a stone pickaxe for when this iron one starts to run low. Because that was a really good find. Actually, I could just go straight for an iron sword. There, much better. Plus, we can also use this in a bit to make our uh, spell book. There we go. Some leather. Okay. All right, that's confirmed. We don't need only cows. Yeah. They would probably still be the best source. And oh, hello, that's a good find. Okay. You and your sweet tooth. <laughs> okay. If I remember correctly, you can actually use honey to make slime, and with slime you can make leads to make it a lot easier to get animals over to your place. Okay, just up the stairs. Uh, let's see. Can we turn these into hides or leather? Also, food stone. BRB. Okay. Don't die. Don't get eaten. 
Don't get turned into a roast avian. There. Okay. Archwoods. And more archwoods. Okay. Some sticks. And an axe. I guess, well, we need one. Okay. Um, I will also need those to make the floor in a bit. What can we do with these? Oh, okay, they double as leather. So that means that we have technically five. Then for a backpack... Oops, caps lock. Uh, let's see. We need... Okay, just four... A chest and four string. String we can actually get out of wool, I believe. So, a good reason to go hunt for some sheep. Or to have killed some sheep earlier. Uh, let's see. We can... I No, oh, there's actually a bunch over there. Yeah, if, I, if I hold tab whilst with... Oh, at any time, actually. I can see the names of the mobs around. There's also some cows there. Let me see. Uh, I already went way past. Okay. There. White wool and four string. Okay. Um. Actually, I'm. Since I'm here. Black patterns. Yep. May as well get a more. Get a bit more for two backpacks. Because basically each one is like a chest that only takes up one spot. Uh, where'd those cows go? There's woolly cows there. Or did I miss... Uh, I probably misread them for normal cows. Uh, yeah, these woolly cows, they don't give... Uh, they don't give milk. And they actually just function as a different, <laughs> a different looking sheep. Okay. It's a bit disappointing, but still very workable. There's some boars over this way. So if I can get three leather out of them, we can make two backpacks and just carry a hell of a lot more already. And I ran, ran right by them, almost towards a bunch of skunks. Please tell me there was the boar. No, there was the boar. Okay. I couldn't worry the skunk Seven was leather. floating at you. No. Again, I was That's... away from uh, the screen when I heard the noises, and when you mentioned the skunk. It's a necromancer that spawned. Okay, those are always oh, yeah. a pain in the ass, because they have a they have a liking towards ice spells. Uh, hello, what is loading in? Okay, oh, dear. Uh, since we're here. There. Always a good idea to take these. So even if the gems themselves in these are not useful, then at the very least they can be turned into uh, gem dust, I believe it is. And well, these can be useful with Ars Nouveau. And what's Ink is still sleeping there. She's only turned around. Now, one trick that you'll probably learn early on with these towers is that if you open these up, uh, you'll find out they're trapped. So... Yeah. Away with that. Oh, slime. Okay. Uh, let's see. We can toss the egg. Yeah, technically, eggs could be useful for us for chickens, for feathers and such. Uh, but they're not too useful. Books, however, are... Especially since we need them to make, uh, well, mod books on different mods. Okay, back here. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Okay, farm is growing. It'll take a while. I'll probably want to make some more patches of that. But for yeah, now... Probably there... good to start uh, getting this early base going. Like, you, you need some proper floors and a roof. Yeah. Okay. There. All right. That doesn't make an, a chest, actually. There are archwood chests, but they need a. Uh, 
they need a bit of a they yeah, they need a gold nugget and i don't actually know what the real <clears throat> what the real uh, advantage of those is I, I know you can link them together but there is a better thing for that uh, actually do we did we start with um, the ars nouveau starter bu <clears throat> starter book or not let's see if we find some lapis we can make one ourselves uh, there's a blue book there. Hmm. Nah, that's the, the, uh, pack. the Ars Nouveau one. We uh, we want this one, the War Notebook. Oh, uh, okay. So let's see. Uh, we have one Birch Log. Hmm. Okay. For now, oh, too early. Okay. For now, then, just cut down some more of these. Yeah, I, the reason I tip, I typically pick Lumberjack when that mod is installed, I don't know its name, is because I just find it annoying to have to cut down every single left, every single every single uh, bit of the tree uh, to get rid of all of the leaves. <clears throat> yeah, you you feel like they should have done that as an actual cool game mechanic to begin with. Okay. Uh... I should not put those away. Okay. One, two. There. Yep. No, there. Okay. Four leather, four string, and one backpack. Okay. And yeah, that, that can now fit a lot of stuff into one spot. We can just put that on our back to save even more sp uh, space. Okay. There we go. Okay. There's a bear, some raccoons, another boar over there. Let's go hunt that one down. If it can get one leather, I can make another backpack to carry even more stuff. All right. And, okay, the question is, are you going to make your house out of Björk? What? Björk, uh, oh, birch. I, I said it in Swedish. <laughs> yes, uh... birch in Swedish is Björk. <laughs> B J E the back with two dots over it, or sometimes with a slash over it, R K B J K. No leather. Uh, I'll probably make it out of uh, arch wood and birch at the moment, but for the full tower, I will go for source stone and such. Yeah, source stone, uh, some magic Even... wood, I guess, for the floor. We have some design, at least I gave him some design ideas. I don't know if he'll do with them or he had some better ideas. Like, the base of the tower should be bigger than the main tower. You know, like, uh, like you see most towers, like you have a, they are big at the bottom for stability. Yep. See. I know also there's a way a... to tame these. Uh, what hmm. the heck are they? Sugar gliders. Uh, sort of scroll like. Sugar glide. Yes, they are an actual species. Uh, wait, they are? Yep. Let's see, there's a woolly cow this way. Maybe that'll drop some leather. I'm more expecting Maybe an, it to drop a. Uh... I think they actually call that kind of cow is supposed to be called. Who cow? Okay. <gasps> Up oh, there's some leather. Cow or how cow or something. For, I think that's the uh, official name or something for the Scottish Highland cow. That are also really woolly. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I wouldn't know. Yeah, I will. I will have to ask my Scottish uh, half Scottish friend about it again. Okay. No, so they also call us yaks. Though this is probably the wrong climate for a yak. Okay. Oop, purple already. Let's see. Yeah, a warlord? Oh, plus 20% max health. Okay. And wait, 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 what did it fit in? Is it fits in certain... Lighter ranged, oh, heavy, it's... chest plate, or helmet. And heavy weapon. All right. Okay. One, two, one, two. Uh, wait, did I put the rest of the... Yes. Okay. 
there, 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 and there. And there we go. Second backpack. So we have even more carry space. Okay. Now, put most of this away. Take that with. And I should put these down. Not the best support for these, but oh well. It'll be replaced with wood sooner or later, which will make it even more of a fire hazard. Uh, let's see. Eight of that. Some of that. I might as well throw all of the coal in here for future smelting. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll take the Ivan pickaxe, put the bone back, leave that here, and let's take one of the shovels. Oh, and the bucket, just in case. Okay, now let's go loot the village. <laughs> okay. Boing. Yeah, getting around as the avian is really easy due to the flights. Or not, not, not really flight, but the slow falling. There. Oh, yeah. oh I should say, the other side of this addition with a strong bottom base was well, balconies in shape of wooden boats. Yep, taking that. The, the, then that. the final idea was also maybe have a boat on top of the tower. As, yeah, we could do that. As if we got stuck or that, or something like that. But that was more comical. Uh, oh, we have someone in the chat? Nope. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Grandmaster player, let's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pardon, what the hell. Let's see. So I heard you don't have enough candy in your pocket, so never say never from last Friday night, because in, uh, in the end, this is your courtesy call for the animal you become. Okay, that's a quote from a song, and I'm pretty sure. You say to the girls that you were mine, please don't waste my time, Cap. <laughs> or were you quoting a song there or something? But yeah, how are you doing, Grandmaster? Hello there, it's been a while. Okay, I'll want some of these. Cutting boards. Skillets. I don't want that. Some more stuff. Another new sword. And yeah, even if I can't eat this, I can still use it with Ars Nouveau for something. Uh, let's see. There. Well, you can tame other animals that require meat. True. And yeah, these guys here are new. They aren't technically villagers. They'll hang around the villages. But as you can see, they're from the Iron Spells and Spellbooks uh, mods. Basically, these these act as a sort of guardians of the village. So another reason to not go piss off the uh, cake to go piss off the villagers by attacking them. Also, I want this. But it's probably gonna find to rob them. Yep. Let's see that, 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 and that. Tomato and cabbage. Ooh, I'll also take that. Let's see, Grandmaster. I'm good. Uh, no, I'm better. But, but the... Okay, why... Okay, what did I do to piss that one off? Okay, now... My, most of the priests are probably going to go after me the moment they see me. Or not. Yes, they are. Okay. Maybe unless you... What if we saw you rob... Uh, steal something? Could be, hey. but... Yeah, I'm not sure what they react to. Okay. Putting all of this in the backpack. Uh, let's see. I'm better because I'm watching this beautiful, amazing, glorious, wonderful three-day stream right now. So thank you, Captain. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh... <coughs> uh, f actually, we haven't hit a third day yet with this. There's a possibility that we'll stream tomorrow with uh, Borderlands or Crosscode, depending on if uh, <clears throat> Rom and Liz are available. Nibble that away. Salmon, bowl, there. Okay. 
The eggs will be useful for starting a chicken farm as well. Bunch of bows that we don't need, but I do think one of these will be useful. Uh, let's see. Some beehives with no bees in them. Can never go wrong with too much armor. What? Uh, okay. <laughs> wait, what? Armor standception? <laughs> okay, I'm... Hey, and we have us another one in the chat. Okay, I'm clipping that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Equally Cosmo. Hey, what's up? Uh, <laughs> what's up with you as well, Cosmo? Doing pretty uh, good here, I'd say. Except for the coughing, but well. that's become annoyingly standard. Let's see. Anything up here? Uh, we have not been streaming for that long. <laughs> Let's see, man. Yeah, no, I've not been streaming for three days. Sometimes I stream three days in a row, depending on how things go. But not for three days straight. That's for freaking sure, at, at least on that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would not be able to handle that for sure. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm doing well, but I am, like, mildly sick. Yeah. So, three days in a row... Well, three days of stream I can handle... Like if, if, if three four hours per day, but three days non stop streaming, no, nope. yeah, no, for both of us, yeah, we, 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 we won't sleep. Fireworks, <laughs> okay. Oh, I think you want to read the chat. Uh, let's see, da -da -da. who will we right now? Cosmo Bro was gonna commend the commitment. Sleep is for <laughs> sleep is needed. Uh, I want this pickaxe, but I'll pick it up some other time. Okay. Oop. Oh, oh, <laughs> there's a daylight detector here with a bunch of fireworks. Okay, so that's good. <laughs> okay, I have no idea why that is there, but nice. You can actually use fireworks to sort of fly around if you have an elytra or such. But since I don't, I won't have any use of that. So for now, actually, I can dump all of this over here. There we go. For now, let's keep raiding this place. As long as that priest leaves me the fuck alone. Also, I'll just steal your cake. No need for weeds. Okay, I'm gonna have to ask, what the heck is an SMP? Uh, SMP is uh, <clears throat> a survival multiplayer. Oh. Yeah. Uh, this That's one is we'll single player. Yeah, multi multiplayer will hopefully get started with on Wednesday uh, when the server from the who. When the server for this mod, yeah, for this mod pack goes live, it's not an open one, so yeah, it'll only be f with friends, and yeah, we'll have to see when I can actually stream that. Hopefully, with the others around as well, but there'll probably be some times when I just stream it on my own. Honey glazed ham, okay. Chocolate pie. Give me out of that. Get rid of you. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, equally Cosmo. Cosmo just followed. Okay, let me grab these. Ew. Okay. That was a lovely time for more followers. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope you'll enjoy the show. It, Minecraft isn't typically what we stream, but we do pick it up every so often. And that's an iron knife, so I'll take that. So can I just take these? Oh, I can eat them though. Yep. And break them. <laughs> oh well. Uh, let's see. Uh, chat. Da -da -da. I don't know P and P or P versus P. Okay, look forward to it. Uh, Makes it much more important for you. It would take quite some time for me to be able to even afford to make merch. Let's see. 
Okay, so someone downstairs is going at it with a hammer. Uh, we are getting a new, uh, what's the word, bug fence installed on the back door. So they're probably busy with that. Being a, uh, can, it act, can it actually be heard on the mic? Let me see. Nope. Yeah, the, the bar oh, is can. moving, so it can be heard a bit. Yeah, I, I'm able to hear it now. Okay. Dump everything that can be dumped into these. Okay. Grab these. And I think that'll probably do it for the raids on the village today. And let's see, Grandmaster, then how am I supposed to give you money right now? <laughs> oh, you can save it up for if I ever start... If... That's the freaking priest again. <laughs> yeah, you could save it up if I ever start a Patreon or such. Or a, a Ko-Fi. I don't know if you really need it. I don't know if there's really any uh, requirements for setting uh, a Ko-Fi up. With Patreon, I know you, a part of uh, what you get with that goes to... Oh, goes to Patreon itself, and it's more the monthly stuff. Ko-Fi is better for just uh, one-time things, I believe. But I, I'm streaming for the entertainment of it, not for profit. Ow. Okay, one thing I might add onto the uh, onto the pack myself is a mod called Explode Don't, which actually regenerates damage caused by explosions like that. Uh, let's see. Tailspin.com switch will help you. Uh, to, to make it make it hurt. Okay, I can't read that word due to how small this. Let me see. Hurley Cosmo. Okay. Okay, I might check some of those links out, but don't expect me to start much with um, merch or such. I wouldn't even know what to make for merch. Okay, for now, let's just dump all of our ill-gotten gains. Probably inky plushies. <laughs> Maybe. Or plushies or me, I would not be surprised of. Uh, that would be a good one. <laughs> Usually, you should start with yourself. Okay. All of this bloody armor from the armor standception. <laughs> okay. Uh, does it, is it actually better than anything I'm wearing at the moment? Probably not. Let me take that. Uh, that. Do we actually have enough for... Yeah, we can make the spell book. Okay. Anything special on these? Oh. Spell casting swords. These are all normal, so all I need then is a book. There, and there we go. Novice spell book from Ars Nouveau. Nice. Okay. Which always comes with break and harm at standard. So, first spell is going to be just break. Create. Then let's skip the number four. For projectile harm. There. On these, I can just put better versions of break later. But I'll need to upgrade the book first, which requires a trip to the nether. Uh, let's see. Ta -ta -ta. Uh, mm -hmm. A day left, Cosmo. Wow. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been working on it for about a month now. It's flown by. Can't wait, Cos. Uh, okay, so you two know each other, I presume. Uh, thank you. Can't wait to give you all my money. <laughs> Love to hear it. I wish I was rich to buy your whole store. I more just want to make people happy with our custom stuff. Yeah, that, that's the that's the mindset you should have with uh, merch stores and such. It's not about just making money. It's just, well, giving people something they want and, and such. And not... Yeah, bullshit that they don't need. Okay. Because there's so many of those merch shops that will just sell you absolute trash. May as well form a bit of the floor. There and there. Yep, finally, music kicks in again. Okay, there and there. I 
should probably start lighting this place up because there's not a single torch around. There. Okay, these last few I can use for some car stuff. Gold is ready. There. Okay, now if I remember correctly, uh, not those yet. Need some gold nuggets. These. And then this. Yep, for a scribe's table. Then we just double that up. There and there. Because we'll need a second scribe's table for something later. Now just put that down. Put this one away. Put the rest away as well. There, there, there. This one back down. Uh, let's put it there. Respawn point set. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are there any merch from any streamer to support them? Plus, I like their shirts. It's really good of you. Only buy the shirts. Thanks, cause. I like jumping in smaller streams and chatting because it's more intimate. Uh, plus, it's easier than subbing all the time. And being a small streamer, it's nice to support others. Yeah. <laughs> With a lot of... With a lot of streamers that get just into the uh, hundreds of viewers and such, it's e it's easy to lose track of just a lot of stuff. So this is just so typically so much chatter going on and such. Doorbell. The captain stream is huge right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Huge, he says, with only two viewers or so. Okay. That's yeah, yeah, opening the door. They have almost 200 viewers. Yeah, followers. Uh, followers but uh, <clears throat> yeah, we usually don't have that many people watching it uh, uh, at the same time. Yeah, it's always nice when people follow, but with a lot of uh, followers, it's more like uh, uh, yeah, that they just click and forget. But since people can fo can be following like dozens of content creators it's uh, easy to see why a lot of people just uh, forget about you like the next day or so but oh well such is life okay I should probably get a sort uh, these sorted soon uh, let's see for now let's grab some of these grab this one boots uh, keep that with let me see we need bones we need saplings probably best to have oak saplings uh, the reason I'm picking these because I like to keep one of these toolboxes and fill them with stuff that we can use to <clears throat> to it uh, get tokens from the Ars, cre Ars Nouveau creatures. Every time I say Ars, it just comes out with like an E at the end, like I'm calling someone an ass. <laughs> yeah, I think like, like it's a bad reflex when reading the word. Yeah. It's probably supposed to be like Latin or something, but I don't get it. Uh, let's see. Wish I was doing as well as him. 200,000 viewers, he means. Can you imagine Captain having 200k viewers watching his stream right now, right now at all? Uh, I hop streams and say hi to everyone and then follow if they're engaging, etc. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I Typically, when I raid out to someone new, I uh, typically wait with following to the end of the stream or something to just make sure that I actually do like their stuff and such. Uh, da -da -da. A lot of streamers just ignore you, yeah. Uh, da -da -da. Same here on that, too. Yeah, with, with bigger streams, that can be understandable just from the sheer amount of people. But other streamers are just, yeah, jackasses, to put it plainly. And something's been dancing around on that, it seems. Yeah, you should have done a wall around that. Yeah. Well, we can do that right now. And, of course, I don't have the hoe with me to actually get it, or to fix it. 
Okay. Yeah, something has been strutting around through this. Okay. One thing that is annoying with mods is just figuring out all the, uh, or rebinding all of the keys, because when I press N, which I set the, uh, <clears throat> the uh, waypoint or make new ma waypoint button to, it also mutes the mic in game, that is. So let me just see if I can remove that. Uh, let's see, key, N. Of course, it just shows everything with an N in it, even left control, left button, and such. And not it bound. Is annoying. Uh, let's see. Item switch mode, storage accessor. Not sure about that. Let's see. Check speed. Okay. Disable voice chat. Let's turn that off. Okay. And yeah, once we have this book, we have less need for the axe, but we run out of mana quite quick, so still a good thing to keep around. Yeah. Uh, oh, busy for Cosmo. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hop around some other streams for a bit. Talk soon. Nice to meet y'all. Yep. See you next time, Cosmo, and hope you <laughs> hope you enjoy your day. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Anything else there? Da -da -da. I uh, wish this version has the wine and beer mod in it. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, let's have a look. Wine. Well, there is decorative wines, at least. Oh, there's cherry wine, chorus wine, cherry noir wine. Okay, so, yeah, let's do Vinery is in here. <laughs> okay, I'll mostly be focusing on the magic mods, because that is what my role is going to be on the server that should be starting. We have Wednesday. Extra emphasis on shirts. There might always be something that gets in the way. Uh, but yeah, I'll definitely be using... Wait, wait. Okay, for a second I thought the water froze. I'll definitely be doing some other stuff as well on this single player whenever we might pick this up. I'll, uh, I'll mostly try to do the streams, uh, the server, when I'll be streaming this. But sometimes, yeah, I will just go single player just for the fun of it and just screwing around with other mods as well okay now a question around what time will the uh, mood player minecraft stream be it's not sure yet it'll probably be at least in the evening uh, but yeah hopefully it'll be at a time that you can join in all right okay. can i actually let me actually check. Arch woods. Yep, you can make arch wood fences. Okay. Also, it's nighttime. So there we go. <laughs> Enjoy the vibrator setting of the uh, vibration setting of the bed again. Oh dear. And uh, let's see. Let's get a bunch of wood. Give it a moment to catch up. Okay. Uh, any sticks that I have around? Twigs. No others. Okay, I'll just take the that out of here. Give me that. I should probably also plant some of these to have a bit of variety. Not that it has an effect, I think. There are mods that can that will have it affect you your <coughs> your stats and such if you use uh, if you don't eat varied. But there's none of that in here, I believe. Okay. Give me a full stack of these. Split these. And yep. Damn it. There. There. Yep, screw it. Just give me all that I can make from that. Okay, 60 should be more than plenty. Dump all the other stuff for a moment. I should make a gate as well. Which I completely forgot. This is that and that. There there, okay. Captain. There there. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Grand as a player. Time to drink in the game, of course. I don't know if you drink uh, IRL, Captain. 
Uh, I have drunk a bit before in the past, but it, okay, they're not connecting. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I, I might just have some. Oh, it's diagonal fences stuff. That might not always work. Uh, I might just have some sort of genetic flaw which causes me to actually taste the alcohol itself, which I believe people aren't supposed to. And yeah, because of that, practically all the alcohols I have tried in the past, which I'll admit haven't been too many, uh, but yeah, for me, they just mostly all tasted the same poorly. Oh dear. And it looks like these are going to be useless. And my set, Unless... I'm, I'm just not interested in, in it. Nope. Odd. Okay, I'll have to point this out to Tatum and such. Yeah, I should probably say, I do also have medication, which does not go well with alcohol either, so... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but beyond that, I probably wouldn't even like drinking alcohol, even just for the taste, because I just generally like being in control of myself, and I don't know what kind of drunk I would be, and I'd rather not find out if I'm a, a poor drunk, to put it in that way. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Okay. The hammer's being used again downstairs. I had to get alcohol-free beer. Because I thought, alright, it was good, and I sipped on it in full evening, and you sips. Mm. So I can understand alcohol for the taste, but I don't get the idea of shogging it down for the sake of drunkness. Yeah. Okay, let's see if just normal fences work, otherwise I'll have to try walls. Okay. Cut this one down. I'll have to clear an area to make a tree farm sooner or later. That's for now. We're just going to take things small and slow. Uh, and probably best if I just make... <clears throat> if I just make a uh, crafting table down here as well. So I don't have to always go up and down. Put a bit away so it can be used to climb over stuff. Okay, do these connect? No, they don't. Okay. Yeah, there is definitely something wrong in the Wait, mod pack is it then. The oak fence diagonal fences. Hmm. Okay, that's a mod that might need to be removed then. So let me just let me just put a message on the serve on the Discord server, so I don't forget. We can't. Hmm. Okay. So in the inventory, they are just the normal ones, but the moment we put them down, they're registered as diagonal. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ta -ta -ta. Hippity hoppity. General. Uh, ta -ta. Fences. Mm -hmm. Really? Freaking... Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Does it turn? Uh -huh. Placing them down has them as the Diagonal fences and they don't connect. There. Okay, at least we found that out now, so we'll have to try stone walls then. Otherwise, I'll just have to block it off physically. By just putting blocks around it. Uh, let's see. Grandmaster, that's awful. If only you was a school crashing drunk. No. 
Yeah, partying and uh, getting drunk is would be an even worse combination. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Uh, there. Okay. Do these connect? These do not connect. Okay, same for walls. Okay, that's annoying. And yeah, these things take annoyingly long to break as well. Actually, can we walk between these? No. So these should at least still function as they are supposed to, even if they don't work like that. I, I can say you place. could put normal stone block down, then put those on top. Hmm. There. You can at very least put this one here. And can you just get lost and stop trampling my crops? Actually, I know a way to get rid of them. Uh oh. Wait, do we know what they are selling? Uh, Pathfinder Squill. Flower forests. Okay, that must be for finding specific biomes. Okay. Yeah, they mostly just want, <clears throat> or mostly just sell wine stuff. Also, enjoy the fall. No, remember you put the lava there. I think he actually ran away from it because I don't hear him burning. There. Yep. Okay, I thought he gotten out already, but that's just his donkey. Also, if those donkeys die, or if they get too far away, their leads should break. Which means that we should be able to use them. So, get out of here. Wait, that you. one already lo lost its lead. Okay, but I didn't pick up a lead, so it, if it's somewhere, it's... Yeah, somewhere. One Come on. There we go. Uh, there I go as well, but I at least have no fall damage. Okay. Uh, how much stone do I actually have? Not enough to in fully encircle this, but I will. It's literally a game called Minecraft, so we'll be digging up plenty of stone. Okay. Yeah, screw it. Okay, and then others that are done. Let's put up some lights. That should stop stuff from just spawning in. There. Uh, a few around here. That's lighting that up. Okay. Then some light over here. Okay. That should keep us mostly safe. Uh, let's see. Also, I should plant these. Can't plant the salmon. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> May I have to play it at a time? I think any type of fences connect with said mod. Mm -hmm. Now they connect diagonally, but they refuse to connect otherwise, so that's definitely a flaw. Um, <clears throat> Let's put these away. Unless you need to Those. do a, press a special button to make sure you tell it to do normal. Let me see. Is there anything like that in the controls? Let's see. Category. No, there's nothing for fences. Wait, what? Diagonal. Uh, what's what that what it's called? Yeah, nothing on the diagonal or fences. <laughs> okay. 
that in there. Put that there. Actually, can I put that over there instead? Yep, just to keep it on the same side. Okay, pick that up. Now, can I turn these into... Okay, I can turn those into seeds. Okay, at least I can plant these. And Maybe you can put it in a stove or a furnace or something to get, um, you know, popcorn. Potatoes. Maybe. Let me see you. Gingerbread. Pretzel. What? Cheesecake. Uh, let's see. Compostable oven. Okay, you can make bread out of it. <laughs> Cornbread, I guess, but okay. So they work as a wheat substitute as well. <clears throat> okay. Now, since we have some food going at least, we should probably start digging underground. And look for some materials there. Uh, more iron, for example. And we also need to find a geode. So, let me see. Actually, what this... Attacks deal four damage to nearby enemies. We can put a socket in this. Ignores 15% of durability damage. Also, it deals fire damage. Okay, yeah, this, this is a very good find. Or... Cabbage... There. Mm, it did not get cooked bacon when we killed the board though, but it's... Mm -hmm. Another bone, some more gold. Okay. <clears throat> um, let's see. A bunch of arts wood of that. A bunch of arts wood of that. Uh, where? Actually, here's the coal. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. We can make some charcoal. We can use that to make some torches. And there. Okay. I'll leave this one here so I don't accidentally lose it or such. Uh, shovel. There won't be much need for an axe. Pickaxe. Ease away. Okay. And these source berries. I should plant a few of those. Luckily, they don't need to be in tilled soil. So I'll just make a patch over here. Four by four. We can use that to start magic production as well, source production. I was said they are safe to walk through, but no, they are not safe to walk through. Nope, they are thorny bastards. Yeah, like, they, they won't get trampled, but they will hurt anything that tries to trample them, so... I guess that they would make a them a good, uh, yeah, <laughs> good for a wall defense. Actually, I should try that sometime. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can put them around your regular garden and the fence for them. Hmm. There. Those can be placed, okay. Uh, more seeds. Yeah, I will finish that once I actually have the wall put around it, otherwise I get the feeling that these jackets are or literal jackasses and that jackass. I'm just going to keep trampling my soil. Uh, you want a half right, my dear captain? Do some mules. Yeah, close enough. A yes. Mule is half donkey and half horse, right? I think so, yeah. And I think they're also supposed to be infertile. I forgot to plant the... <clears throat> Forgot to plant the, the cabbage. Yeah, there, and his thing, I think, there. I don't know that many people do a mistake of. They think all hybrid animals are infertile. Not all mule. of them. Most? Yeah, there's, yeah most are infertile. But there are also, but there are also many that are not. There we go. 
No. And then I was people who didn't usually didn't forget that, uh, oh, we crossbreed dogs and cats all the time. Pretty sure that's physically impossible. I didn't mean, did not mean to cross be a cat with a dog. I did not mean that. I mean, we uh, breed one breed of cat with another breed of cat. Yeah. That's what I meant. <laughs> Which in some cases is actually very bad because the gene pools for those species have just been utterly gutted. Yeah, like, look at the pit bull from, uh, from now to pictures of how they looked in the past. Yeah, a lot of them have uh, trouble breathing. And then there's also yeah. some... Those cats with those really short legs, uh, yeah, they, they tend to get a lot of health problems uh, later on because of the, just the inbreeding that's been, you know, that's been forced on them. Yeah. Quite simply. Yeah, the, the inbreeding is definitely always going to be a problem. You can make a good species hmm. like uh, some horses I have done uh, that has been good but uh, doing but what quickly it's not doing inbreeding yeah that's good that's that's gonna be a problem at, at some point it's not even inbreeding it's just because the gene pole has been so uh, thinned out that yeah there's all of the spe basically most of the species are related now. Yeah. And now we come to the most boring part of Minecraft, trying to find your first good mine system. Or cave system. We can see a bunch on the map here, but we don't know how actually all of those connect. Though, this one does look promising here. Yeah, so hmm. it does remind me. There is a new hybrid species called the Gorilla Bear or Prisoner Bear. And that one is more of one of these cases of uh, you have two different kind of bears and they di get the best of both. Yes, I've heard something about that potentially recently from a uh, casual geographic or such. Yeah, hmm. the, those are beasts. So they they basically may become stronger than polar bears and grizzly bears. Also, something someone who might be of some interest would be uh, <clears throat> Tear Zoo, if you ever heard of them. I have. I have got some of the videos. And yeah, they, they are pretty funny with it. And also rather informative. Oh yeah, they are. Let's see. Specifically, what I'm looking for at the moment is a geode. Because then we can get a bunch of uh, amethyst crystals. And use those to make source gems. Yeah, and source so, gems we need for all the magic stuff. Yep, and I, I should probably say this for clarification. Crossbreeding animals is not bad per se, is when you are being reckless with it that is the problem. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there goes that. Okay. We have a few backups of these, I believe, so should be good with using one of these. Yeah, I, I tend to be pretty uh, careful with my pickaxes. As long as I get, you know, as long as I have the materials to make a new one, I'll use uh, <clears throat> I'll use one of these. But other than that, I'll typically use the lower, you know, the lower tier ones to really dig around. I find we hmm. do get resources back for it breaks, and let's be honest, depending on how it breaks, you can either resmelt it or just give it a new handle. Yeah, it, that, there's no mods of that kind in here, so it will just break. Hmm. Oh, I know. Yes. Yeah, it, it's one of the first parts I feel like it's kind of weird with some games at times how they handle uh, when item breaks. Yeah. There is one very popular mod, Tinkers. Uh, I don't know if it's still getting updated or such, but basically when you have a Tinkers item or Tinkers tool that breaks, then you can just fully repair it from there. There's also Tetra, but I know that one less. 
I think it also remains in your inventory for repairs. And it, it is generally cheaper to repair your stuff <clears throat> than to make uh, new ones. Except for, well, the Ooh, base yeah. games, because you actually you need to spend experience to repair them. Which would be good for enchanted stuff, for, but for basic things, no, that would not be worth it. Yeah. There's a geo. There's a few geodes around. Oh, and that's a mine ship, mine system. There's one. Okay, which of these would be the closest? Also, uh, there. That should hide it, but not remove it. There's a lot of geodes around. Okay, what depth are these about? 28. Dripstone Caves. That's also a good region to be. Because with Dripstone, you can make more lava from just one source block. Uh oh. <clears throat> uh, what height are we on? 44. Height? Hmm. Now we mean depth in this case. Yeah, in a depth height. Let's see, all around 20, it seems. So let's dig down to that level first. Get some copper, which isn't too useful. Uh, for us, at least, with Ars Nouveau, it is useful in Create and others, I believe. Okay. Yeah, I only have to say, Create is a very popular mod. Yeah, it can be very complicated as well, but only really as complicated as you want to make it yourself. If, if you want to make a really do. big one. But for the most part, you can make more self-contained things. And there's one useful thing that's... Uh, there's one useful thing with Ars Nouveau. Uh, the Starbuncles. Oh, hello. Diorite. Uh, you can use Starbuncles to move stuff between places. So for a lot of things with Create, I could just use Starbuncles to move things around. Instead of having to put up whole production lines. Yeah, that would that's some more practical. Nope. There's hmm? there's an amethyst right in front of us about. That's Y3. Okay, and there's another one here. Okay. But they're both just about the uh uh I forget what it's actually called. Again, um the deep slate area. Okay. More mechanism stuff. Okay. Hmm. I could see as you start to do deep slate as a decorative stone for the tower. Could be. Hmm. Also, the reason that I put these on the side is so that I can dig out the uh, lower, the upper <clears throat> range of, oh, hello, range of stone on the way up or such, because, well, bonk, 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 bonk. Yeah, and you mean well. <laughs> okay. And uh, yeah, one annoying thing with uh, the avian origin is that it is a bit annoying to go downstairs like this, but I plan to, oh, oh hello. Okay, that complicates things a bit. Ooh. I plan to put down some... Uh, <clears throat> I, I plan to put down some uh, portals to just get down easier to, well, large enough mine shafts and such. Okay, I think that's just ambience and not just the warnings that some beast is... Actually, I, I think I know those sounds. That's Those are underminer sounds. Which is a, a mob, which is mostly just there to freak you out. Okay, so they are harmless? Yep. Unless you scare easily. You mean you? No. Okay, there. Not. I'm easily scared, at least that's what I thought, until, um, Rom. <laughs> Who keeps jump scaring you? Yeah, for a while, he's jump scared me quite often. 
Oh, and the raid shaft. message also jump scares you. Yeah. But that's more jump scare. There. It's kind of funny. I was a scary movie. No jump scare. Raid shout? Jump scare. <laughs> okay. Almost through this. And. Oh, nice. The bottom of a ravine. Yep. Okay, so it also inflicts the flame on nearby enemies. Yep. Also, these things. I don't know Wait, who what? put these in, but. They're just hats. <laughs> Cosmetic hats. Is that a trap? Or... What it? Oh, it's a stone. Oop. There we go. Enter. I'm pretty sure... Are they, they, are they, I see they get the status blindness. It might be from... Yeah, what might that be from? Oh, there. Uh, when attacked, inflict blindness for three seconds. Cooldown of ten uh, seconds. Oh, I overlooked that the helmet has two sockets for gems. Oh, okay, you did not only get a good sword, you got a very good helmet, at least. Oop. In this context, it's a very good helmet to start with. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Let's grab all of this. That close by, minus five. I'm at 15. Hmm. Oop. Uh, that's lead. Osmium. Oh. Some redstone. Redstone is always useful for something. Gold. But of course, the main price for any find down here would be diamonds. Especially since or we need those stones. to get to the nethers. To the nether. Point taken. Okay, I'm just I'm just having constant misspeaks today, huh? You had worse days. There. Okay. Now let's see. That one's at minus five. Hmm. Let me do a bit of a check. Wasn't there one closer? Level, okay. At level four there. Okay. Yeah, the moment that I can set up two portals up and down, I will do that. Because, yeah, this floating isn't useful for any of that. Hmm. Minus five. Four. Okay. Go down a bit more then into deep slate territory. Oh, lava that way. Okay. Actually, probably closer or easier to get to the uh, minus five one there. There goes the pickaxe, and I don't have backups, so up we go. Thunk, 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 but at least we can jump out off the tree to dodge it. Uh, drop off some stuff. <laughs> Still amused at just four armor stands on top of one. That must have been a bug. Yeah. Okay. Yep, it put it in the second slot there. Okay. Uh, Bit of a freeze up for a moment. Let's eat this first. 
Mm. Not sure if I've ever had cornbread or anything of the like. I'm sure as well. Now let's put our raw metals here for the moment. I should make a special box for all of this cobblestone sooner or later, but for now, this will do. Uh, let's see, do we have any spare iron pickaxes? Doesn't actually look like it. Okay, but we have enough to smelt. There. Plenty of charcoal. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Welcome back, Equally Cosmo. <laughs> Did you find anyone else of interest? Welcome back. Uh, let's see. There. Uh, sticks. Now I'll keep them around for now. Just need. Yep, there we go. Okay. Actually, probably better to just make one iron. Oh, no. And one stone. Oh, so probably no. best to make a few stones. Hmm? No, I have that joke video again in my head. A witch joke video. A certain bird obsessed with sticks. For they wanna smash. Okay. Oh, wait, is that the, the dancing one? Yeah. That end up tearing apart a, a, a nest. I okay, don't know about tearing apart a nest uh, bird, but uh, well. Uh, but yeah, a bird was building a nest, and a, another bird came over, and that's where they had a yoke dub. And I don't know if that bird was intentionally trying to wreck the nest, or it was just clumsy. But yeah, he was using stick, 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 stick. <laughs> okay. Now, that should be our little farm free from invaders. Uh, let's see, Cosmo. Yeah, I was having a chat with a really nice guy. Uh, WSG Grant? Uh, can't say... If that's someone, I don't know them. Or is that supposed to be meaning something? Uh, what mod pack are you using? Uh, uh, yeah, a custom one made by uh, some friends who are starting a server with this on Wednesday. Yeah, they they call it the hippity hoppity pack, but it's not on the <clears throat> it's not on the curse forge or anything, at least to my knowledge. Okay, let's try and speed this up a bit. Okay, come on. Yeah, I'll I'll want to find some uh, lapis lazuli as well because I can use that to make warp scrolls. And with warp scrolls, I can make uh, warp portals. Okay. Okay, back at the bottom. I don't know if they. I don't know if they would be fine with me putting it somewhere. I would have to ask for that. Okay. Oh, there's some lava right underneath us. Good distance away, luckily, though. Minus 26. Okay, minus 5. Then we just... <clears throat> Take a turn and head straight for the geode. Okay. Yeah, annoyingly enough, Deep Slate takes it a little bit longer to break than other stones. Actually, let me actually just go back to this thing then. Okay. Oh, wait, there's one over there. M minus 30. Yeah, we're not going for that one. Okay, minus 5. Let's see if we dig into anywhere like this. Typically on the cave map, it'll show areas below. Like minus eleven there, but that could be the, that's more likely the floor, so we could be digging into somewhere in a bit here. Hopefully not into lava. Yep, 
I forgot, zit is also the crawl button. Actually, I probably should be doing that to just make it easier to get through here. Because then I have only half the stone to, <clears throat> to dig through. Okay. There. Okay, we're about lined up. Let's see. Ta -ta. Grandmaster player. Cap, look stream in the uh, screen and say, uh, I want a jellyfish and honey sandwich. <laughs> Actually, tasty. Trust me. Uh... <laughs> okay, I'm not going to trust you in that one. Be the, the, only inter the only interaction I've ever had with a jellyfish was it, was it stinging me on the fucking inner thigh. So, yeah, that hurt like shit. And it, here we I, go. I know you can eat jellyfish, but no thank you. Uh, to my knowledge, jellyfish is similar to... Uh, uh, what is the other type that's eaten at times? Uh, from what I know, any uh, octopus was it maybe? Yeah. But to my knowledge, most of the taste with stuff like that actually comes from... Uh, the stuff that gets added with it. So why would I want to eat something that has no taste of its own? I mean, if you think about uh, snails... Mm, that as well. But the question still stands. Why would I want to eat something that doesn't taste like anything on its own? Well, if, it, if you all you need is spices to make it edible and tasty, uh, that's not too bad. Yeah, but the point is just that why, why would I want something that I'd need to uh, add a lot of stuff to to give it taste when I can just get some chicken and that'll have taste of its own? Uh, you usually spice and marinate chicken as well. True, but at least it will have some base <laughs> taste. Okay, there, there, and there. We can use these amethyst blocks as well for making source uh, gems. Okay. But we definitely want to leave these alone so we can turn them into amethyst golems later on. Okay. There, there, and there. Okay. Let's see. I'll grab a stack of these, and then we'll head back. There, nine more. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh well, cost food. <laughs> Cosmo says never trust Grant. <laughs> uh, yep, yeah. brain fart. You were you were talking to Grant instead earlier. Okay, a bit more, but oh well. Always better to have too much than too little. Okay, one drawback of digging like this is that you can't sprint down them. But basically the only thing that can follow you is actually just the baby zombies and such, or silverfish. Okay. I'll dig the rest of this out later. A giant torch. Okay, and up we go. Bunk, 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 bunk. Oh, gods. Okay. Hmm. I'm what? Yeah, there you go. I, my eyes was not liking that. Okay. I don't, I don't even know if I'm getting caught. Really? Out. Okay, I deserve that. <laughs> We're launching it into my farm. Yep. Did both of you get out of my farm. Okay. Yep. Not what I meant. I will. Okay. 
there. There. Okay. That's a good amount of foods. Now. With that. Uh, some, we can make these into more useful foods. I believe there was one specific one that's pretty easy to make. Basket um, of tomatoes? Oh, yeah, that's that's, just, tomatoes. <laughs> that's that's for uh, easy storage. Vegetarian lettuce wrap. Okay. Full course meal. Let's see, cutting cucumber, lettuce, and tomato. Okay, that's uh, that's actually really good from the looks of it. Baked vegetable medley. Bakeware. Okay, mixed salad. This is the one I was thinking of. Just cabbage, uh, tomato, beetroot, and a bowl. And you get, yeah, mixed salads with six and 60. Pretty easy to make, I believe. Uh, once you have the, all the things needed. Okay. And I feel, I feel like you need to get some walls and a roof. At least you have several trees to build onto. True. <clears throat> okay, another egg. Uh, Is there something see. you want to confess to us about, Captain? No. Basalt. Get all of that away. Okay. Uh, need some gold. There. Now, I do believe these need to be gold ingots for this. Okay. Uh, what was it? This and this. And then... Yep, there we go. Imbuement chamber. Okay, we put that up. We're down. We put a block of amethyst in there, and that's making a source gem block. Oh, right, hmm. yeah. You definitely need more blocks to make a bigger floor on top of these trees here. Yeah. They make walls and a roof for you. You're gonna need a few things before we can start making that tower. Yep. Uh, let's see. Are there any star bunkles around? There. Okay. Star bunkles are really good for automation. They can be a bit annoying to set up, but it's also because you can tell them to do pretty complex things. Okay. And they're like pirates. They're like gold. <laughs> okay. Uh, where is the little bugger? I saw... I got a glimpse of them. Oop. There you are. Oh, that, come that, uh, running over. Uh, uh, that's a... I haven't seen a stop bunker like that before. Yeah, they have a lot more variation in their appearance now. Uh, what there kind of stop bunker was that? A saber tooth? <laughs> no. Let's see, a bunch of... A bunch of bees here. Any other star bunkles for me to hunt down? There's one over there, but it's surrounded by a bunch of creepers, so good luck, little guy. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> yeah, one reason to hang around by an archwood forest uh, is because there should be a higher chance for uh, drigmies and such to spawn there. You just walk past an apple tree with a lot of apples. <laughs> uh, let's see. Grandmaster. Uh, ta -ta -ta, oh, well, food. Cosmo Grand, you should join my Discord server so we can hang out. You seem fun. <laughs> so uh, many apples! There. Yeah, this is also another food mod. Oh, more bees. Uh, there. Are you? Are you taking a shower under the, the the bees? No, I'm making note of where they are. But yeah, you can make uh, fruit trees. There's a bunch. We've ran past a few others as well with like cherry and such. Even more bees. Okay. okay. Actually, can this break these wall bits easier? Should keep that away. Other, yep. There. Okay. Yeah. That'll make that'll make putting up and removing those walls a lot easier. Yeah. For they they look fine. Just not like 
If you had reg two regular walls high, then them, then it would look like a wall with a security fence on top. You know, like those with pointy tips on top. Yeah. That discourages people from climbing over. Tomatoes, potatoes, cabbage. Okay. Savage. There. Yes, I'm rhyming, people. I can rhyme too. Not just the captain. Uh, let me see. Something else I should set, set up early. Not shut up early. Uh, no, it's, is it doing this thing again where it just doesn't want to stack up some uh, torches for some reason? Okay. Okay. Yeah, for some reason, the mod doesn't like to stack uh, torches that you've placed them with ones you haven't placed yet. There we go. Mm -hmm. One source block, four source gem. Uh, let's see. Where is... There. Okay. Make some more bread. I, I just had an idea what you... We're probably going to make it look like a boat on top here. But I just had a Maybe. silly Since... decoration idea for top of the roof. Oh. These multicolored leaves. Yeah, we could definitely use them. Let's see. Ham sandwich. Um, I guess they would use me. sandwich. Be... Camouflage from distance. Oh, dear. Yeah, apparently, it, apparently it doesn't. Re <laughs> apparently, it doesn't register these as being with meat. Okay. Uh, All right. So you need something. Like you can't eat uh, just meat alone. You need a meal to be able to eat yeah. meat. Uh, All right. See. Hot, hot dogs or chili dogs. I'm looking for anything simple. With just bread, uh, sliced bread, really. Some of these are just decorative, I believe. Mm. A lot of these require that you put toast. They have these uh, jams and such made with them. Yeah, that's a bit much. Oh, uh, well. Yeah, I think you need to uh, get yourself more organized before you can make some of these. Very much so. Sand. Okay, sandwich is just any type of bread, it seems, and any kind of cooked meat. So, do we have enough of a stack for one of those? Yeah, you have four meat over there, I think. And uh, some more meat. Yeah, don't cook that. Okay, not enough for us. Yeah, I'll cook these. It's almost enough to not be a bit of a waste, but I will. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> now that we have a star bunkle, or we could have two, actually. Actually, I would need to make an enchanting apparatus first before we can, before we can get star bunkle charms. Let me actually... Uh, where is... there is... okay. Okay, that is all in there already. Actually, let me just put these in here as well. Okay. Anything to put in any of these to make some space? Not too much. Okay. We don't have too much iron at the moment, but one thing I do want to make... Just for the ease of things, just to have a chest. Then we use these five to make a hopper out of that. And we put that on top of here. Put all of these in there. And now we just need to pull these out when they're done. And we can have a star bunkle do that for us. Oh dear. You live in a tree with a squirrel. Now, let's see. What was it to make a barrel again? Okay, there. Okay. Put that behind that. We can tell the 
scroll to put it in there. But to have it sort stuff, we need to put an item frame on it with a scroll. But we don't have any scrolls yet. So, ours. Mm -hmm. Enchanting apparatus. And it's all enchanter stuff. Okay, okay. We need diamonds before we can even get to that. Okay. <clears throat> then there is one other thing I can make quickly. And that is one of these. A compost composter. Composter, whatever however you're supposed to say it. I'll just slap that down here for the moment. And all the extra seeds can go into there. And if we put a <clears throat> if we put a hopper on top of these, we can automate this as well. There. And there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, these are done. <laughs> the moment we turned our back. Okay. And yeah, we can have half of this be just wheat. The other half can be more specific things. Uh, let's see. Or more of uh, whatever you have on hand. <laughs> also, uh, we have room for some more tomatoes. Mm. Red needs to be turned into tomato seeds first. Hmm. Like I was thinking maybe just have it all down the, the length of it, but I think I can just do four, 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 and then another set of four like this. So we plant these here. Uh, we'll need some more potatoes. There and there. One of the onions. And yeah, we'll find what we'll place in these others. For now, it's becoming nighttime again. And let's actually make a bit of use of this. So, no, not that. Okay, uh, that's still busy. Okay, our book is only tier one at the moment, so we can only put tier one spells into it or glyphs. Uh, let's see, do we have any of these? Uh, if we had enough sand, we could make Conjure Mage Block. This one we can make. It will draw stuff from nearby inventories. Otherwise, we just throw it into the air. It'll catch it. Ride it. And there we go. Now we have no more need for torches. So, touch, Mage Light. Name it. Create. And let's set it to the rainbow. Yep. All right, I can remove those. <laughs> yeah, now we just can put these wherever we want as long as we have the mana for it. And it is pretty cheap. Once we get some magical clothes, it'll be neg negligible from how much it will be. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I feel like I, have, I think a, a bit of my own survival habit is once I started building a house, I would prefer to have the house done as quickly as possible. Yes. So part of me is probably reacting to that you have only done the bloody floor. <laughs> so my own survival game instinct is going in on finish it. Finish it! <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. Let me see. But that's it's more of my awesome. own habits. <laughs> okay, I so, tend to but... just build whatever I need and try and reorganize things later, if ever. Yeah, yeah no, the games I have played, usually you want the roof to be and walls be safe. Like Orc. Like. If they can't see you, they would attack you. Yep. Okay. Now, let's put 
most of everything away. Uh, yep. I should put the seeds through the hop. Okay. And yeah, the reason I typically put a hopper above these is because this can start to take up some time with just putting everything into it. Okay. And well, it gives us bone meal, and we need that for well, getting woolly sprigs, because the only way to get their tokens is by planting a tree near them and making it grow. Uh, let's see, we can put that away. We can break that into sticks. Actually, I can put all the food in here. Well, hold on a sec. Um, let's see, add sophisticated. Let's see. Okay, golden carrots, apple, and melon slice. As well as an ender pearl and one of these, for which I need four iron, which we don't have at the moment, I think. We have three normal iron, or raw iron. And yeah, with this thing, we can we can just put our food in our backpack, and we will automatically eat it out of the backpack. Somewhere we picked up tangerines, it seems. Hmm. Oh no. And I kind of ran oh, there. Oh no. <laughs> no, if Emperor had text to speech me, a joke again in my head. No. Uh, do you know the character Caldo Drago? I think I've heard of the name Drago at some point. Yeah, he. he, he in the show, uh, YouTube video series, he's a bit insane from being the warp so much. Okay. So. And uh, the few weird jokes he has made, or at least I think they're supposed to be funny, he mentions tangerines. Yep. I forgot to leave what context. Uh, let's go uh, see oh, if the uh, village has some stuff for us. Oh, cherries. Now I remember. He yep. charged a. Yeah, he shot a one of the demons of Slanesh, and his war cry was. Of all things. Yeah, again, his war cry was in this case uh, Have you ever had a tangerine? <laughs> okay. Again, he's insane. From being Clearly. in the open for so long. Okay. Have I been here before? No, I have not. Okay. I'm hoping to find some carrots and some melons around here so I can make those make that upgrades. Because that will save a lot on just uh, moving back and forth with stuff. Also, I want Shelf. these. There. And I may as well break these for the books. And that one just because I want to get out quick. Wait, I just realized it, it, it says you broke that one. Will you be given a normal fence? Uh let's see if I what happens when I put it down. Okay, now it now it works. What? Okay, or wait, what if I... It's not connecting to the other oak fence, though. Okay, that... Okay, so they just don't... They, they'll only connect diagonally with each other for some stupid reason. Well, it's called diagonal fences, but... Yeah, they're supposed to function normally as well. Big games is on supposed to. Yeah, but it goes in a normal mode if you have a, a block between them. So I guess you would want to make block fence, block fence, block fence. Yeah. That sounds like I'm talking about combat instructions. <laughs> okay, anything of value around here? Nope. Okay, some more seeds, some more bread. Nope. Okay. Ooh, barley seeds. Okay. <laughs> we can make we can make beer with that. 
Hold on. That's bamboo. Okay, we can use that ourselves. Oh, that sound? Uh, okay. Yes, the fireworks going off again. I thought first the priest found you again. Yeah, tip typically when you're getting targeted with a spell, it'll say it in the around here in the screen. Like you are being targeted by a X with X or X with Y. Let's see. Ooh, another turtle helmet. Somewhere the team and T are grieving the loss of one of their brothers. Ah, carrots. And beetroot. Oh, God. Mm. Pillage! Potatoes. Act. There we go. I should probably remind people. The captain is a pirate. <laughs> pirate captain. So... Don't be, uh, be surprised. There. There. However, this captain is smart enough to not store cows on his ship. Yeah. Was, that's a nice little trick here. You're using an open fence like an open uh, window. Uh, More carrots. Yeah. I know I saw Forgive some him. tiny melons along the way somewhere. Oh dear. Oh yeah, for context, people, a pirate tried to steal a, a farmer's cattle, a lot of them. And, um, yeah, he was boarded by the coastal gods at the time. This was long, long, long ago in the age of piracy. And, yeah, mm. they boarded a the ship. And yeah, they noticed quite quickly the cows had turned seasick. <laughs> okay. All of them. Uh, are we again? Well, no, you're rich. But yeah, imagine you have a boat. You have about twenty, thirty cows in your in your boat, and all of them seem sick. It seems seasick. <laughs> As if normal cows don't stink enough as is. Yeah, and now we have them in a boat. Yeah. I, I learned this from Hordor history, so they did do a bit of a comedy sketch of it, but still, just the concept idea that you could imagine the players you go, please take them, we surrender. <laughs> and I would hate to be the one who had to clean the ship. Yeah, but personally, I would probably just scuttle it. <laughs> wait, 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 scuttle it? Yep. Uh, Sink it. Oh. Give me those. Okay. No, I, I, I was, I guess, against sinking it, since you made the pet for, you know, kill a lot of uh, sea life. Ink woke up and she ran off somewhere. Oh, there she is, on the desk, of course. <laughs> what is it with you lately? Like, last night, she just would not, would not leave my feet alone. Not the way that's like uh, nibbling at them or such, but constantly just rubbing up against my legs. And yes, for some reason, this cat just has a foot fetish because she just loves getting scratches with <laughs> from feet. Keep forgetting about that. That is kind of curious. <laughs> Been here. Okay. Um. In there. Tomatoes. Cabbage. Okay. A single raw salmon there, and okay. Now she's dancing between my legs again. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me get this right. Uh, these are storage units for just a specific thing? Yeah, they're, they're basically like iron blocks. You're not going to leave okay, me alone so they I are... take my shoes off, aren't you, Fuzzball? I kind of like that, but that could be a good decoration uh, later. Yeah. 
Uh, let's see, I think I've been here because, yeah, there was an iron knife here that I took. I forgot these. Okay. Crack Guardian Yam. Mm -hmm. I think I've been here as well. Yep. Okay. Anything of interest up here? Okay, just another... I've already been here. May as well take another of these then. Okay. I'll take that. Uh, oh, another one of these. Okay, just some more foods. Okay. Even more seeds. Okay. I remember there being some small melons somewhere between here and the spawn. So I'll probably make a run for that. Uh, after checking here. Oop, yoink. Any coal? Nope. Another gem. Some more seeds. Okay. Anything here? Yes. Okay. Yeah. This this mod Starworm Equestrian. Well, it's kind of in the name, and Ink is Ink is trying to get the door open. Uh, I'll take the bow. I'll take the pants. I'll take that and that. Oh, obsidian. That's going to be useful. <clears throat> Won't have to dig it up now. Okay, I'll open the door for you. I think she might be smelling something downstairs, so that's why she wants out. Of course. <laughs> Oh, terror birds. And, yeah, that's all of the village looted. Uh, wait. I just realized, if there's terror birds... Are there also peace birds? Uh, no, more. what other prehistoric mm -hmm. terror might there be around? And, hell, I would not call those small melons. We call them uh, decently big. Yep. Yeah. And it, 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 that's mini melons? They look more like regular melons to me. Boing, boing, boing. Uh, Drigmies are still here. As I just go right over the head of one of them. Okay. Uh, let's see. Can I... Yes, I can turn you into slices. And I should have enough gold to make a gold version of... Actually, it takes us one gold ingot for each of these, I believe. A golden apple, golden... Uh, carrots, golden melon slice. Okay. Also, while we're heard, heading back... I think I heard that gold up. is slightly edible in very tiny quantities. We shouldn't eat too much of it. Yeah. Oops. Um, I'm blanking on the Dutch and English name for it. Uh, leaf gold. Leaf gold. But yeah. that is like... Uh, Less than a millimeter, like a few, <laughs> a, mo a few molecules thick. So yeah, yeah. I, I I never understood it. It's mostly like, supposed to be decorative. And that's well, yeah. that's what it is with food as well. Are you calling regular food decorative? No. No, we can eat these even when full. Okay. Where's that? Okay. But yeah, yeah. I, I know. I also do it as a decorative, if it sounds a little bit over expensive decoration, but some people actually eat it. But there are also some food with good, thin gold wrappings. Because I never understood why. Yeah. But again, we do have people that are so rich that feel like, well, I'm rich, I should eat something extremely fancy. Yeah. That's also uh... why I don't give a. I, I wouldn't. Take, uh, I wouldn't try caviar even if it was offered to me for free, because uh, it's just it's just fish eggs. I ate caviar as a kid. No, no. I ate Calais caviar, like caviar on tube, like regular caviar that every person can afford. That's not expensive. Okay, that's like there's actually something funny with that. Like I believe uh, in the past. 
caviar was considered to be a lot more of a luxury thing. But since then, uh, people have been starting to mass breed sturgeons, which you typically get caviar from, I believe. So the price has been oh. plummeting since. Yeah, and I, do I will say that <laughs> does amuse me. Yeah, and those are huge caviar. The one from Kalos is, is yeah, again, you have them in a tube, but like they're just a tiny ones. I guess you could, you probably may enjoy those, maybe, but the expensive ones, uh, no. The, the expensive, the big caviar actually looks more disgusting to me. I don't even know why I stopped liking caviar. Did I forget the. I think I forgot. <laughs> I forgot the. Uh... <clears throat> The box with all of my uh, gold nuggets and such, it seems. Where did I'm I not put surprised. that? Hmm. I'm pretty sure I didn't put it down, so maybe I accidentally put it... Oh, wait, I know where to put it. Into one of the backpacks. Of course. Uh, there it is. All right. <clears throat> Now, let's see, for one of these base upgrades, uh, there, <clears throat> okay, one leather, four string, and four iron, do we have any spare leather, or do I need to go on a quick hunt uh, for that? Apparently any kind of leather works, for sure out of a different uh, icon, so it could yeah. be leather, hide, and all that, so... <clears throat> pardon? You've been Let's pardoned. Look. I'm not seeing any leather, so I will have to go quickly kill something for that. There's a cow that way. So, yeah. That's going to be our victim then. Oh, it's a prey. And those apples will grow fast. Here you... I'm not seeing any leather. We do have quite a full inventory. There we go. And just to make sure. There we go. Now we have three and we have pre-cooked steak. Actually, we can just immediately turn it into more sandwiches. And there we go cheat on our uh, vegetarian diet. Yeah, they look ready, but they are not. As you can see, 71, 86, oh. 14. Okay. Mm. Nice. Okay. Now, once I have a good amount of diamonds, I can really start clearing this place out. Okay. Swap that one out. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four. One of these. Some of those. Okay. Now, melon, apple, and carrots. First off, though, put everything is somewhere. <clears throat> okay. Uh, carrots. Then the other one. Apple. Okay. Last but not least, the the gold. May as well turn these into string. For easy storage. Okay. <clears throat> there. And then just circle that around. Glistening. Okay, does it actually need to be full gold for these? Yes, it does. Okay. I think I saw a, an actual gold apple somewhere as we were running around, but I didn't have the space to pick it up. Uh, in the village, I think. Hmm. Or the tower? No, you broke the chest. Oh, did you break the chest? I don't think I did. Um... Speaking of chests, I should make a few more because these are already filling up. 
I'm not really trust if that uh, we actually saw it in the ta train wreck. Train wreck. Could be. But yeah, for now, just need to make some more storage. <clears throat> A floor and wall. There. Hmm. There, of course. Get rid of the ash. That's only used to make soap, I believe. Not something we have that much use of. Okay. Um, there, there, and there. Three more double chests. Okay. Uh, keeping that one. One. Oh dear. Two. Uh, wait. Where's the melon slice? Or wait, did I not do that one yet? Oh, it is there. Uh, is it a glitting metal slice, yeah. right? Okay. Um, let's see. How many can I turn out of these? Should be enough. Yep, three. Okay, that's going to make me a bit low with the gold. But at least we won't have to worry about the auto-feeding, uh, about food and ender pearl. Good thing that we found those that early. There, there, okay. We just put that in place, and any food that goes in here will be automatically eaten when needed. Okay, there. <clears throat> Turn these into wheat. Uh, no, oh, okay. no, Captain, no. Okay. Not you that turn wheat kind of into weed. bread. Yep. No, no, you turn wheat into bread. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, bamboo, that. You don't turn wheat that. into wheat. Okay. There. Okay. Another one done. All right, then. Actually, I don't need those or those. You Barley seeds would be it. useful. Okay, and the beetroots. Okay. Let me see. Anything else specifically of value here? Torches I can put away. These I can actually throw away as well. These wheats are also of the horse mods, so they're not of much interest to me. Okay. okay. Turn that into that. Okay, then. Return everything to this. No. Uh, yeah, right. This one still has stuff in it. Okay, first off, taking this off. The okay, next five iron that we get. I'm making another hopper just for this thing here. Uh, cabbage. Okay. There we go. Actually, I think we need a second one underneath it to automatically empty it, but oh well. Beetroot. Barley. Maze. Okay, we've got a good little garden going now. Also, we should light the place up some. Yeah. Oh, I just remembered something. Hmm? Is, it, is this Rafalam related? I learned what the buff the new boss will give you. Oh. 
if you give you, I think it was 25% bonus speed. And... Additional 300 weight. Okay. There. So, with the special belt and the Forsaken Blessing, you will be able to carry up to um, 750. So, yeah, more than plenty. Okay, we already have one of these. Okay. Yeah, that, yeah that's yeah. something that will make uh, just carrying heavy loot much easier. Mm. Uh, better to do this with a barrel because those don't make noise when opened. There. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, what we'll want to do then is dig a little underneath here. Put down the barrel, the hopper, and there we go. That's now automated. Gets filled, and bone meal goes in there. Nice. nice. They will still make some noise, but not as much as chests. And they don't make noise when things get put into them by Starbunkles and such, I believe. Uh, I, just, uh, I just had an idea. Um, can you put the light source under the trees? Like, if you look up and shoot up? Yeah, you can put them as a projectile and they will... <clears throat> they will form the light source where they hit. I can show that right now. Change that out for projectile. Create. See? Okay, that, that, that actually make, may make this a little bit e nicer if you do it like that instead. Well, yeah, that actually gives you a bit more magical forest feel. Okay, that does make it more expensive to cast, or a, a bit, I think. But oh well. <clears throat> At least you've been light up properly. There you go. Plenty of food. Okay. And the seeds go in here. Okay. Let me turn that back to a touch spell. Okay, yeah, we can do that for decoration. But at the moment, I'd say materials are more important than decoration. Yeah. Okay. And a roof. As walls. Yeah, we, we definitely <laughs> need to... Uh, we need to find some diamonds so we can actually get into the more magical stuff. Return all of that. And put one of those there. There. I have a feeling if, if a, a Hillian was doing this in Valheim, he would have a ruined floor by now. Probably. From the rain. Uh, actually, oh yeah, you should realize you can't sleep without a roof, so... Yep. <laughs> and there, 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 and there. All the cherries. All right. It's quite easy to make the uh, the fruit trees. Just need eight of the fruit you want. Put a sapling in there, and yeah, cherry sapling. I just had an idea. Why not Orchard. plant it up here? Uh, you could do that. Yeah, you can just put some dirt up there and plant a tree up top of a tree. Reception. There. Well, I guess you could also then later put a tree on top of another tree. Would there still be tree reception over the... Well, no, I was not there. I feel like uh, there could be an uh, unwholesome yoke done there. That's a bit pervy. Put all of these there. Okay, clear out the last of this. 
Okay. And I think things are pretty set for food at the moment then, so we can continue digging. Put that away. And I may as well put some tools into this thing as well. Actually, that reminds me. We can upgrade these <clears throat> with iron or with copper. Uh, how much copper do we have? Enough for one. Okay, we also have a lot of that now. There. Okay, and the reason I'm making stone is because, well, we need stone for source stone. And we need source stone to make uh, some magical stuff as well. Let's see, I know there was a second stack somewhere here. Just smooth stone, or normal stone. Smooth stone is if you cook it again. Yeah. I'll just make another back. Okay, I thought you could... Okay, you could just use a filter like that. Okay, you could use... You could do that in here before as well. Let's see. There it is. Okay. Well, better to have too much stone than too little. Okay, then we just grab some of these. Okay. And source stone. I think we will need two stacks of that for the uh, <laughs> enchanting pillars and such. I'm actually going to put that here. To at least do some sorting. In the middle. Copper backpack. That probably won't do too much to expand it, but still, any extra space is better. <clears throat> is better to have. Ooh, another one is done. Okay, Let's put that in there as well. Okay. Yeah, ready for another excursion down, I'd say. Okay. And let's hope we can find some diamonds this time. As we just bonk our head on every step. Actually, probably to help with the way up. Just dig out the next layer. And it shouldn't be as bumpy. Still bumpy, but less uh, headachey at least. Yeah, once we have the enchanting apparatus, we can really get started with some magic stuff. Like getting starbuncles to work for us. Uh, magical equipment. The essences. Okay, if I, if I still kept some... Uh, torches along, I could just have those break them on the torch. Because that is a little trick that some people, that yeah, that people use in Minecraft when they're dealing with gravel. Just put some, uh, put a torch down underneath where it'll land, dig out the block above it, and it'll just all break on landing because it can't take in the same space as a torch. So let's grab some of this so we can upgrade our other backpack as well. And any other ones that we'll be making. Just, let's be honest. Just all of this space in one slot for in your inventory. That is just... Yeah. <laughs> no way to ignore the usefulness of that. Yeah. Mm. And you all... You, you like to pillage and loot. Mm. This probably explains your rivalry with pillagers. There are some nearby. 
on the surface. So I'll definitely go harass those sooner or later. They typically have some decent loot, might have some diamonds. But there is a specific spell I'll want to have before then. One that combined with, well, the avian origin, basically lets you fly around. Okay, that's going to wash away some of the torches. There. Okay. Now that's... Okay. Now we can continue on with these. Hello. Another area. Okay. Some zinc. I'm not sure what... That's antique ink. Okay. Zinc is something you'll want for create. Because it's a substitute for iron. And, well, you'll definitely want iron for other stuff. Like armor and weapons. Okay, let's explore around here. Bone, ash, emeralds. Is. Hmm? Right Not a right. clue. Okay. Oh, wait. This... No, that does not go on there. Okay. Um, continuing on. Okay, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Akram. Okay. No idea if that is an actual stone type or not. Okay. Back to the pickaxe. One. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay, Ooh, that's a big ass glimmering wield. Okay, that's definitely a name. One, two, three, four. Ooh, the music is gone again. Okay. Hmm. I think, yeah, probably best for now if we go up to that ravine that we found. Probably the best chance we have at finding diamonds for the moment. Uh, where did we break into that? It was, yeah, it was past the water. It was just below the water. Okay. See so, yeah, it here. All right. So this will be a good place to actually turn this into a projectile again. Okay, some iron there. Okay. Oh, lapis. We need that. And some iron that I'd missed. Okay. Yes, I could use the break spell for this. There. Yeah, only a single block. Okay. Okay. Up we go. And uh, Grandmaster says dancing. Okay. <laughs> dancing what, uh, <laughs> Grant? 
Uh, oop, iron. Uh, oh, that was some loose hanging. Okay. There. Okay. Anything of interest at this height? The size of this ravine is a little bit underwhelming. Oop. Magnet height block, we'll want that. It's for an add-on for create. To add electro motors. Okay. Uh, let's see again. What do we need for wind essence? Yeah, Wilden Wing. We probably should go take a look at those Wilden Dens nearby. If one of them is for the ones that drop the wings, then we're in luck. Oh, more magnetites. Ride crabs and puffer Uh, I don't know if you're supposed to fry crabs. I guess you could. I guess technically you could fry anything. There we go. Uh, let's see. Just enjoy the barbecue cap. Uh, you will love those fried crabs and puffer fish. Uh, to the two. At Cosmo, I would, but my Discord won't work. I don't know why. Yeah, Discord has been having some issues lately, mostly with voice chat, I believe. And it looks like this ravine might go a bit further back than I thought. Oop. Or. Yeah, it, it continues on past this point here. Okay. May as well dig a staircase up. And this should be about far enough. Yep. Yep. Oh, this one's this one's this part's flooded. Okay. Oh wait, this is the area we is the area we dug through earlier. There. Oh hello, where does this go? Quite a distance, but nothing of interest. Okay. Alright then. Seal that back off. Okay, so no luck with diamonds yet. Hmm. Let's... Are, are you in, within the right depths for it? Yeah, diamonds can spawn past or below 16 in depth, and that was 11, I believe. Let's see, diamonds. Yeah, diamond ore. Wait. Okay, so it only starts spawning below... Okay, so only in deep slate depths. Okay, that's new, I think. Yeah, I think they hmm. changed that even in the original Minecraft. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's head up for the moment then. Because it might... It'll probably be easier to get some diamonds from this here. That's a broken nether portal. So, northwest about. Just make sure you have space in the bags. Yeah, plenty. Okay. Lovely. Raccoons. I know you can tame some of those yeah, mobs, but I don't know how. It's probably in the books. But those uh, are also YouTube videos. Away at the moment. Plum. They're also in YouTube videos. True. Let's see. Oop. Yeah, you would hunt for the bears. Yes, you can yeah. tame and ride bears. Uh, Pro provide this from Alex mob uh, thing. I'm guessing this one is going to be from untamed. Yep, untamed. Which might mean that, well, they can't be tamed. Okay. Getting dark, but we're already here. 
Okay. Now, what sort of goodies do we have here? There. Put all of this away for a sec. There. Okay. There's typically a chest around these. Hmm. Just a twig holding back lava. Hmm. Okay. It's the first time I think I've seen one without a chest. Unless it's that's hidden weird. by the lava? Yep, yep, that's the magma block. Yep, yep, there's another magma block. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Okay. Usually there's a chest near these. Maybe it... Uh, no, it, I don't think those uh, treasure hunt ones can catch fire. Because otherwise these would have the chests a lot less often. Hmm. All right, then. At the very least, we can head back to the village, the tr abandoned train yard, and possibly some other place. What is... That's a terror bird and a necromancer. Good thing that I'm staying above that then. Uh, tell me, Captain, uh, have you anchored the terror birds in this game before? No, but I'm, I believe they are just aggressive at standard if you stay around them long enough. I wonder if you can tame them. That's Oscar. Yep. The spider rider. Okay. Yep. Well, the terror birds have a bone to pick with the skeletons, it seems. Okay, where was that train yard? There, directly south. I don't feel like it could be a good idea for us to identify what animals that can be tamed and read it on. Yeah, it's probably in the and, book. Yeah, it says, it, here's the thing. If you can ride the terror bird, awesome. But if you can, you can ride it and have it fight alongside you. And I think Oscar just threw something down in the next room over. Okay. Bacon. Okay. Now, let's have ourselves a look. Yep, yep, that opens that up. <laughs> okay. Oop. I can probably loot these for th their components everywhere, all of these andesite casings and such, but for the moment, it, it, I'm just going to leave it to what I find in the chests. I was to say, you could use some of the parts from these things to build your uh, treehouse. Good, yeah. Anything useful in this? Nope, nothing. But the box itself is useful. Okay. Just some of that. Oop. I'll take those. Cog wheels are always needed. Okay. This one again. There's so much part here. Parts, I mean. So... Yeah, I can see us easily salvage the entire thing for something. Yep. Okay. Put everything that's in there in there. Oh, right. I, I dumped some stuff into this one here and completely forgot about it. Yeah, and you found the ammo dictionary. Alex's mobs. Okay, but that will only work on the, well, Alex mobs, uh, mobs, of course. Okay, just dump the rest in there. Take these, take that. Uh, I'll take eggs, sugar, string. Yeah, screw it, I'll just grab most of it. Okay, there's the golden apple that I saw seen earlier. There. And there's a bed in here. Okay, there. And then you. 
bit of golden zinc, a jar. What is actually underneath the... Okay, just a campfire, not a blaze burner or anything. Blaze burner would have been really useful. And yeah, this is a this is a locomotive that's been thrown on its side. The wheels. And that's the necromancer. There we go. You, you can see why necromancers are annoying. It, okay, that was a bear cub I killed. Uh, you what? I think it was a bear cub, because it said bear, but that definitely was not full-sized. It's a boar for the sound it made. I wonder, I wonder uh, it must have made a zombie boar. Yeah. Bear, boar, both is possible. Probably the boar, yeah. Uh, another locomotive. Clipboard. Okay. You can probably use that to keep track of stuff. Store all of that. Store all of that. Actually, I'll keep that one out of the inventory so we don't accidentally eat it. Okay, we've gone through that. And that looks to be most, if not all, of this place. Outside of this, the physical blocks that it's made out of. Now, there is still this place here. <laughs> Bilbo Baggins' place. First axe. Okay. Store stuff in here, yep. Okay, that one that's just a decoration book, so that's useless. Uh, these crafting blueprints are nice. Uh, but beyond that, nothing too much of interest. Actually, there is one thing I can do with this here. There. Let's put all of the cobblestone in here because it will actually go above one stack per each of these slots. So they're also Ooh. good for carrying around uh, building supplies. Actually, yeah, having that around when you start building things is definitely a good idea. Yeah, and I believe if you are nearby them, Within a certain range, I don't know what. Also, I should, since ink left, I should hit this. I sh should have hit that button a while ago. There. Yeah, as long as you were within a certain range of them, if you run out of a material that's still stacked in here, it should, yeah, it should refill it for you. Nice. Okay. I hear that uh, Bilbo is still alive. Because I heard the annoying little groan. Store more stuff here. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> uh, let's see. I took everything out of these. Yep. <laughs> this smashes pottery. Oh, that shoots are useful for moving stuff. Okay, a bunch of composters. Uh, yeah, just an improvised organ of sorts here. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Oh, hello. Uh, nothing in there. There, there, Captain. There, there. Okay. Well, that's most of the places we've been then already raided. Uh, let's go check out this den here. If it's a stalker one, then we can get wings from that. And some trains. Uh, Wilden hunters. Okay, that's the wolf summoning ones. Those are a real pain in the ass because they will keep summoning wolves if they can. 
So there is one easy way to sort of trap them. Since they can't they can't really jump well. Plus, since this thing damages other enemies nearby, that should also take care of their crappy little uh, summons. Okay. Yeah. There. And now we have Walden Horns to give to the, the Drigmies. Okay. Nice. No. Uh, to to create. Okay. Alden Hunters. Confirm. Now there's the other one over that way. Hopefully that. Now that's probably Stalkers, the uh, Wilden Guardians, the Polar Bear ones. Those only spawn in cold biomes. So it's basically a 50 50 shot with this one. Oops, skunk. <clears throat> yeah, I believe one thing with, that people misunderstand with skunks a lot is I, I believe they will only actually spray you if you uh, provoked or scare them. And these are also hunters. Okay, well, that means that these aren't as useful, these dens, but still having one of these nearby is a big boon. There we go. Plus, we can also farm these things for experience. And more horns is always useful. Hmm. Let me see. If I put a block there, can they get out through that? Also, there's generally... There's generally loot in these. Let me light it up. Yeah, the moment they spot you there. Okay, can you... Oh, yeah, they can get out with that. Okay, break that. But only the big ones, apparently. Hmm. Vines can be used to get out as well by both them and me. What, uh, really? I think so, yeah. Okay. There's at least three more in here from the sounds of it. Okay, let's get out. Okay. <laughs> this one just bolts. There. Okay. I don't know how much of a cooldown. Not much of a cooldown, apparently. Okay. Give me those horns. Okay, Rigmies are good for farming with animals. Okay. Okay. Are you the last one? Okay, looks like it. Okay, full of stuff, uh, but nothing too useful. Uh, enchanted golden egg, egg, <laughs> apple, ancient tomb, a uh, tome. Then I hear dog. Okay, I think I saw. Yep, there. Diamond horse armor, which can be turned into diamonds, so I'm definitely grabbing that. Um, leaving the dirt behind. Loyalty, which is which adds returning to uh, tridents, so they'll come flying back. Okay, any other stuff I can dump in here? Yeah, you're gonna need to make a few trips here. Hmm. Let's see, do I have anything on me that is multiple stacks? Doesn't look like it. Oh, uh, well. Just to get some stuff in these. There. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, it's a bear, I heard. Okay. Um, I'm taking that one at the very least. The bones are useful. That one. Right there. Some pants, bucket, bone, music disc, tome. Okay. Actually, just grab all of that. Okay. Oop, hello. Retrieve a affix item from a random monster. Okay. <laughs> yeah, all the other ones we've gotten from item or from inventories. Are there any other books around? Books of chests. Oh, so there is one more thing I remember about these dens. Oh. And that is something we'll want to climb up it's for. Because at the top. We'll find a dead archwood tree. Which it's actually just a strip one, but it looks dead. And if we break into it, we'll find a ritual bla a, a brazier. Another blazier. There. Okay. Uh, what did I just pick? Don't need rope, don't need dirt. There we go. So we can use that to, well, cast rituals. Is, is that an LGB? Yeah, an LGB? <laughs> okay, I don't know a what rainbow. flag that is supposed to be, but <laughs> it's a B. Ooh, bear. Yeah, that's. It definitely was a, a boar that I killed earlier. What the? Hemlock. Ow. Okay, that's some fast-acting poison. Yeah, hemlock. <laughs> Poisonous. Okay. I'll actually grab that just to see if anything can be done with it. A suspicious stew. Okay. Away with it, then. Okay, so nice if I want to poison someone, but useless beyond any of that. That looks like a pillager camp. There's another village over that way that we could uh, raid. But let me first take a look at that other den. To see if any of the chests in there have anything useful, like diamonds. Actually, I would, I would say I return, return home. Uh, I say there. return home, unload, then go to the other den. Oh, hello. Uh, which of these was it again? Yep, bones. There we go. Yep. Right, but there. Pick those up. Return to toolbox. Okay. We now have. Oh. There. Of course. And a third one. A fourth one. Okay. You see where the tie your pack. Yeah, they will be useful for defense. Yeah. Wait, where did it oh, there it is? Okay. Put the bones back in, pick it up. Okay. So yeah, if I get attacked now, well, <laughs> I'll have some assistance to help deal with it. Okay. Plus, Minecraft dogs will just, or wolves is still more accurate, will just, uh, will just teleport after you if you're going too fast. As you can see. Whirly sprig, whirly sprig. Okay, there. Okay. Plant sapling. And there we go. Okay. Did you that back. pick it up? Now I did. Okay. Rolly sprigs, they are very useful for maintaining plants. Oh, another one. Yeah, we have a farm. The, um, hmm. 
I'll toss that. There, there, there. Yep, come on. Okay. Might as well do all of them. There we go. Yep. yep, there it goes. Okay. Return to that. Okay. And we should return Good home. Yep. Willie Sprig token too. Nope. Birds. Uh, what mod is the terrible from? Untamed Wild, I think. Uh, but we can check. Yeah, we can check the Alex's Mobs book in uh, in a bit. To see if it's in there instead. I'm not going to stick around too long around them. To well, you have, piss them off. You you are probably gonna demand crackers. <laughs> yeah, crackers made of my bones. <laughs> okay, one of them took fall damage somewhere. Okay. Oh no, that was something. They don't introduce more wolf breeds into Minecraft. Okay. Ooh. Top priority. So that uh, you can get different ones depending on what biome you're in. Okay. Uh, I'll toss some seeds for bones. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. We still have all the... Okay. Not so much for getting those bones. Okay. Uh, sit, sit, sit and sit. Okay. And, yeah. <laughs> we have treeception. Okay. <clears throat> An egg just flew all out of the bed and off the house. Uh, let's see, I haven't been keeping an eye on chat. Uh, let's see, dancing, barbecue, ta -ta -ta. mostly on my account. Oh my god, you got burgers, Subway, eight foot long, American cheese sandwich, 341. <laughs> okay, someone is very excited about that. Okay. Uh, and. Sounds like the the weekly guests are here. Plus, we're we have about half an hour to on the stream, so I think we'll have to end it in a bit. And yeah, I'll definitely try and sort all of this stuff out. Maybe expand the platform some, but I won't try to do too much off stream. But you can okay. build a house off stream if you want. Let's see. I might go down and dig around some more for somewhere a bit more lucrative, so to speak. Uh, I didn't want that. I want these. Okay. I'll wait with uh, more Ars Nouveau stuff, at least. Like setting up the uh, star bunkles here. Um, but for now... There, there. Okay. Putting all the Ars Nouveau stuff over here. Um, let's at least try to make the enchanting device an arcane core that's required with it as well. Also, uh, where did we leave? Hmm. There it is. Okay. So we just grab one of the books that we have. There's a normal books. Uh, wherever those went. There. Okay. Lapis. War notebook. Okay. Let's see. Machines. Book war and charm. Enchanting apparatus. Okay. We need eight of these maximum. But for the first stuff, we will only need like four of them. So that, that is one of the reasons why I made so much source stone. 
And yeah, an arcane core. And an enchanting apparatus. Do I even have enough gold for this at the moment? Or do I need to smelt some? Also, let's move those over. Uh, let me see. Let's put that in there. I'll probably automate, I'll probably try to automate the making of source stone because I want to have the outer walls of the tower made of that. And for decoration stuff, I'll try to make it two or three blocks deep so I can add some depth to it. By just, well, carving into places here and there. Or having it stick out and other points. Let's see. Uh, looking forward to see it. Like, really? I'm but usually in doing the uh, Valheim and all that, but I do look forward to see what the Hillian can build. Let's see. Okay, I, somehow this got turned off. Or was it automatically turned off or something? This explains why I had to eat myself, which is exactly why I got that, so I wouldn't need to do that anymore. Uh, I think you want to rephrase that. Uh, let's see. Iron spells. Okay. Yeah, having these is going to make things easy. Because uh, th that means that when we get to the nether, I don't have to go looking for a nether fortress just yet. I'll just need to get some quartz. Then we can upgrade the spell book to tier 2. Where it will be really useful for just digging around and such. Uh, for a moment I thought, why is there a W for West in the distance? But no, that's the Walden Hunter's mark. Okay. Hey there, Captain. Hey there. I'll definitely put... <clears throat> I'll definitely put a uh, hopper on top of this to keep that going again. And maybe I'll... Maybe I will just set up the Starbuncle just to have this going. Also, these are pretty useful, these crafting blueprints. Because, if I remember correctly... Uh, let me find some arch wood. There. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, and three. If I put that there... And then... Grab like... No, not that. Uh, I need this and a source gem. So let me put two. Okay, one and two. I can then put in a recipe here, there, set it, and then I can just use it to automatically do the recipe. So, so yeah, for any recipes you need to make a lot of, but don't want to just keep putting them into the crafting bench like this, you can oh. hang these up and just walk okay. up to them, hit them, and they'll be done with it. Okay, now I get to how that works. Mm. Uh, let's see, golds. Can I break these down somehow? I can. I could with uh, crushers, but for that I also need to get to uh, the nether, because we need bronze to make those. Um, let's see, so we're now, for now we can only use what gold we have with us. Just these seven. Yep. Don't throw it down to three. Uh, put that there and there. That. Okay, no gold. Some gold. There, I prefer to keep those in my hotbar or active hotbar so I don't lose track of them. The source stone, the diamonds. Okay, at the Aras. 
Uh, let's see, where is it? We got source links. We'll need those in a bit, but not just yet. I think I just completely there. A chanting apparatus. That's one. And we need the arcane core for it to actually work. Which is there. And we're oh, missing one of those. There. Some space. I'll grab some more water. <laughs> the arcane core. There. And let's see the pedestals. Actually, for those, I think I have enough. Or at least for some of them. Let's see. We can reset this. One, two, three, four. One of those. And then gold nuggets there. Okay. I like that it also shows you what you're missing if you're looking at these. So, let's see. One, two, nope. Three, four. And we could get more, but I'll I want to save up this gold. <clears throat> okay. Um there some of that. Okay. <clears throat> Let's expand outwards a bit. I'm back. I'm back. Oh, it almost became painful. I just, I, I have a light up uh, turned on in my room, but I had blind is down since. Well, the lamp on the roof is not uh, affecting the monitor. Uh, you know, like when the sun uh, goes into the room and just makes it hard to see the screen and all that. Yeah. But when I went out mm -hmm. to the kitchen, yeah, my eyes hurt uh, from the sunlight there. Okay, just putting that there. One, two, three, and four. You can make it. You can turn the pedestals into platforms to save up some space. Then we put that there. And let's see. Take these. Take that. Put the new one in. There. Okay. Then. Let me think. I think it's just any kind of seed that we need. So I'll just take these. One, two, three, and four. Okay. <clears throat> we need more gold before we can get star bunkles. So we'll need to dig around more for that. Okay. And now we have Mage Bloom. Which we can actually put as the fourth. Or not the fourth. We can put those down here. Okay. Those aren't grown yet. And yeah, Mage Bloom, we need that for magical clothing and scrolls. Yeah, we it... need scrolls for teleport for portals. I hear something. Yeah, there's a spider around. Ooh. There it spider is. Spider kebab. Okay. I should probably also put up just a wall around the area to keep mobs out. Or most of them out, at least. Okay. There and I'll there. I'll be again. <laughs> okay. There. Put that. That. Right. Now I wonder... What happens to the eggs that plop out of you every morning? Oh, well, they can be used to cook with, or you can throw them to get a chance at a chicken. They do they do just count as normal chicken eggs. Let's see. You, really? you, 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 you see the concern here, right? Uh... 
What the heck am I looking at? RGB bandana. Oh dear. And I should not have thrown out all of those seeds. Oh well. Something else is done. But yeah, I feel it, it, it can be disturbing that you can use your own laid eggs to make get food. chicken. Uh, wait, what? Yeah, to make food as well. Yeah. Here's the thing: if you if the eggs is actually coming from your own character that they lay them themselves, um, rather pick them off your uh, your offspring. Technically, but let's not think too deeply on this. Let's see. Okay, that dealt with that. Okay. Another one of these to plant. Stupid thing of that to get rid of. Uh, let's see, duties. Oh, where did the... I thought I had... Okay, I thought I had some of those kernels in hand, but nope. Corn kernels, or anyone starts on that. Uh, let's see. Okay, there are some seeds. There they are. Oh, well. Okay. Yeah, I think dinner is going to start pretty soon, so let's end it in just a few minutes. After I just make these seeds. Five hours later. <clears throat> yeah. Mage Bloom is required for magical armor, which will well, give us more mana to work with. Uh, also allows it to regenerate faster. So in general, you just want it. Uh, da, da, da. There's three different types. Uh, da, da, da. Magical armor, mage bloom fiber. Yeah, we have the sorcerer sets, arcanist sets, and battle mage sets. They are made from gold, iron, and diamond each. Uh, the <clears throat> the higher in those you go, the uh, more resistant it'll be to normal damage, of course. But uh, they'll also be less powerful in the amount of buffs you can put on them. So it is a bit of a balancing thing if you want to focus more on just plain armor. Or get stronger buffs out of them. And they can be upgraded to get even stronger ones. Well, you are um, mage, so you want to do powerful spells. Yep. Okay. But since we have just... A fuck ton of these. I'll probably just make a set out of, well, both. And the uh, affixes like this, they will, they will go, they will uh, stay with it. So this would, uh, if that was, if imagine if this was an iron, uh, if these were iron boots, then I would have a uh, yeah battle mage boots of spell casting. Or sp I would have spell casting battle mage boots of the fast wit. Ooh. Yeah, that would be good. Hmm. So the only the only real item I can really move over then at the moment are these blessed iron leggings. Uh, that's hmm. okay. Yeah, it seems that all the magical stuff I have at the moment, except for this one as well, gets a bit extra armor from that. Mm -hmm. Spell casting iron boots. Uh. Okay. Oops. Spell shielded boots of the climb. Okay. Yep. But yeah, I could also set up a thing to uh, <clears throat> to put my own or to put more to put affixes and such on uh, other things or ones that don't come with them naturally uh, but yeah I'll tr again I'll try not to do too much off stream and okay I can step on these now aren't these supposed to be like high enough that you can't jump over them or is something stacking up with uh, 
Okay. Unsure. Hmm. Odd. Maybe they worked from a certain angle where you landed on them, hmm. but... Nope. Okay, that's odd. Typically you need 1.5 step height to get over those. Oh well. Useful for me. Uh, but yeah. For now, let's call it there for today with this. And go look for someone to raid. Uh, yeah. Remove that. Which change the screen share so Drakir can see as well. Okay, let's have a look. Not too many people online. We have Zenavia who is just chatting. First anniversary stream, okay. We have I'm Nice with Moonglow Bay. What is that? Let's have a look. I'm probably I'm guessing it's a sort of Harvest Moon like or something, Stardew Valley, that sort of stuff. Yep. Oh no, it seems more like a fishing thing, maybe? Okay. It's definitely a voxel style. Or maybe this is, yeah, maybe it's not fishing focus and just happening that we catch him during a travel on, on the boat. So there's a moon me, seal. Hmm? If it gives me the whole dredge vibe, oddly yeah. enough. Uh, since Bay isn't a name, I'm going to guess that shipping is going to be a decent part of it. Uh, but yeah, moving on, we have Chubbers the Moon Seal, who is playing The Lens of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Moonrise is playing Jackbox. And Profound Badness is playing Team Fortress 2. Got Scaly Tail is just chatting. Debut, welcome everyone to the new... The new what? The new grand opening of the Rabbit Hole Hotel? Okay. <laughs> oh, and, dear. Oh, they, they have a 3D model now. And last but not least, we have Horatius the Dwarf, who is playing Elden Ring. Okay. Taking a look through... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I'm not I'm not following Josh Drive Hayes. Okay, let's correct that. Hmm. But for now, any of those sound interesting, or shall I take a pick? Uh, I'll let you take a pick. Okay, I'd say nice then. So, copy their name. Okay, so, yep, yep, copy their name. Head to our place. Okay, slash raid and paste. But before we go, of course, thank you everyone who's been watching now or later. Thank you, Grandmaster Player 4. Thank. <clears throat> <laughs> Thank you, equally Cosmo. And I see we have a well, we have at least Noon uh, lurking in chat, as long with the name that I don't recognize. It might be a bot. If you are not a bot, sorry. If you are, you don't have the mental capacity to be offended, anyways. And thank you as always, Drakir. You welcome us always, my friend, and thank you all for your name. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll have a Borderlands tomorrow or Crosscode, depending on if. Uh, <clears throat> Depending on if Rom and Liz are available. Um, <clears throat> other maybe Valheim if Durvan and Glacier or Durvan or whatever. It's it's called maybe Monday for a reason because it's a big maybe on if it'll happen or not. So hopefully Borderlands will see otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. In any case, we will get started on the Battle for Middle Earth. On Tuesday, though, and I've definitely been looking forward to that. Oh, same here. And so are probably the uh, the censor bots, or at least the copyright bots. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> oh, dear, yeah, that's probably one of my biggest concerns. Yeah. Okay. But for now, though, let's get that raid started. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. Sleep well. And watch out for undead seagulls. And Wilden Hunters and all the other Minecraft mobs. <laughs> <laughs>